What it do, y'all? How y'all doing? Listen. Um, we are live here on uh, we're live here on uh, Clubhouse. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. Of course, we are live on the My Church channel. And um, this is the last of the Tuesday 10 a.m. and Thursday 10 a.m. live Akintunde shows. And uh, so it's bittersweet today, but um, it's not it's not like, you know, we're not ending the Akintunde show by no stretch of the word. We got some new versions of Akintunde show that actually be coming out. And I'll tell you all about that in a little bit. But um, so it's not like it's a cancellation or ending my, on Tuesday, I said on Facebook when I came on and did the, the announcement, the, you know, letting anybody know, uh, you necessarily said, you said cancel. You're not canceled. You're not stopping the show. You're just doing a different version of the show. I said, you know, you're right. You're right. You're right. So I, I left that out of my language and vocabulary concerning the, the, the show. But this is the last version of the live show that we will be doing. Um, when I say the live show, I'm talking about our morning, Tuesday, 10 o'clock a.m. and our morning, uh, Thursday, 10 o'clock a.m. And um, and then, of course, we had the Ox show started out as a evening show on Facebook that we did for a long time. And um, and we switched it to the morning for for practicality reasons. It was more practical to do it in the daytime. That means I didn't have to stay to the studio late at night and start a show at eight after I'd been there all morning. So it just made better sense to do it that way. So, you know, since uh, similarly here. We're making some shifts and changes to accommodate growth and new opportunities and 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 my expanding uh, responsibilities. Um, so a lot, a lot, a lot has changed in the past year since we, of course, uh, opened the doors of, of, of the studio. Now officially opened the door on first Sunday, February of 2023, and uh, that was the first time that anyone outside of the, Ox, the the WF Media Group team was in the building, and we had worked for the, the previous several months in preparing the the getting the the, the 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 carpet, the paint, and everything ready so we could even come into this space. So after we did that and completed that, then it was time to actually start having live shows. And then eventually we start doing the Ox show here. So it's just been a it's been an amazing journey to get to this point. It's been a challenge. It's, I mean, a, 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 a significant challenge to get to this point. And um, what I've learned the past uh, year is that, man, if you got to make a shift, make a shift. Don't delay it. And for us to be able to handle the responsibilities to accommodate the growth, the new opportunities that we have right now at hand, the only way I'm going to do that personally is I have to stop doing the live Tuesday uh, morning uh, version of the show. I need more time to uh, work. For example, I left here last night at about 430 in the morning because I was working on a, um, a sponsor package. That's one of the things I still have to do because as y'all well know, early in the year, I had a, you know, I had a couple of salespeople and, and wound up being no salespeople. A whole other story, the wonderful entrepreneurial journey. But the needs of Healthy Laughter and this brand new series that's now been picked up by a major company, I'll tell you about that in a little bit, um, a little later on. Because of that, to, for me to be able to respond to that, I have to, switch to a more executive role and doing the show at 10 o'clock in the morning here it takes a lot to do that it takes a lot to be here it takes a lot of preparation a lot of preparation on donna's part a lot of preparation on pastor tucker's part uh, on jaleel's part and so for me to respond to the growth respond to the new opportunities the only way i'm going to do that is by uh, uh transitioning out of the live show so that's what we will be doing so that's this is the the last live version of the I can tune this show. We will do specialized live shows. We will do specialized live shows from time to time. They, that might be in the evening. That might be a daytime show. Y'all remember uh, now over two years ago, me and Jaleel went went live. Uh, well, now about three years ago now, I think it is because uh, it's January, January 6th. OK, we went live and was like, OK, people are actually kind of like storming the Capitol, I think. And me and Jaleel sat on, on, on live for like three hours watching this on C-SPAN. And it progressively got worse and worse. And then we realized, yo, we watching history happen right here live on Facebook. Um, but it, it, so we will do specialized live events, you know, as, as the need comes. That said, that said, um, I should have went live the other day 
because I started getting these phone calls. So my first phone call, shout out to Bishop Marcus Benjamin. Bishop Marcus Benjamin hit me up and he said, uh, have you seen, have you seen the Cat Williams um, interview on Club Shay Shay? I said, no, I have not. He said, please, ellipses, dot, 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 please, ellipses, please <laughs> watch it. And I was like, I was like, I, so I was like, what did he say? He said, just watch it. I said, okay. And, uh, <laughs> And I put that thing on. I was like, oh, my God. Scorched earth. Uh, straight up said whatever he wanted to say. I have my thoughts about it. Um, we actually have Cat that will be on the show. He'll be calling into the show in just a little bit. So so just stand by for that. Like, tell everybody. Like, like text. Uh, share this right here. Cat Williams will be calling into the show in just a little while. And we're going to talk to him and get his perspective on on, on on what has happened over the past several days. And But this video is now, I believe it is now, if it's not number one, it's definitely number two. It is the most watched podcast interview in history. Put Take that into to, to, to perspective. The most watched podcast interview in the history of YouTube. Joe Rogan had number one and number two. I believe it was Elon Musk and another doctor who was talking about space or time travel or something like that. And now Cat Williams has now uh, surpassed at least one of those, possibly both of those. So last I checked, it's, he, he's up to like 43 million views on YouTube, which in full context, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of views. OK, and um, it but he but really it's. It's a moment in culture. So we got, we got Kat coming up in just a little bit. Of course, Donna is in the studio. Pastor Tuck is back and, and, and ready to come up. Listen, y'all, let everybody know. Let them all know that this is the last live full version of uh, Tuesday morning version, I should say, of the I Can Tune Day show. The, the, I'm going to tell you who I'm going to miss the most, okay, when I come back. And then when I say who, I'm talking about which platform I'm going to miss the most honestly, because I still have my I still have uh, interactions with one of the platforms. I always have interaction with Facebook and YouTube, but there's one that I'm going to miss uh, because of the cut ups and the people that I've met o there over the years. And uh, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. So I got another special guest that will be coming up in a little bit, too. I got um, uh, 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 comedian Tony Tone that will be joining us. Cat Williams on the phone. Donna's right over there waiting. Pastor Tuck is in the back. Listen, family, call your mama, call your daddy, call your auntie, call your uncle, and let them know that the last Thursday morning version of the I Can Tune Day Show Live is happening right now. Let's go. Another track, production. No joke, entertainment. Let's go. Ooh, Come on. One of the best stories that I have in satisfying one of our clients happened just recently. Uh, we had a young lady that was doing did a family reunion for, and then they came back and placed a reorder. Now, when they placed the reorder, we could not get everything done in time. Well, we had to pull a lot of strings, make some things happen, work a little bit late, but it worked out where we were able to get the t-shirts printed and out for delivery. That's the things that we do for our clients, and we want to do that for you as well. It's easy to become frustrated when ordering branded products and apparel, but PNB Promotionals is here to help ease those frustrations with their over 800,000 promotional products and apparel. Whether screen printed t shirts, embroidered polo shirts, stadium cups, umbrellas, or mugs, PNB Promotionals has just what you need. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. That's pbpromotionals.com. Or send an email to info at pbpromotionals.net. Info at pbpromotionals.net. Imprinting the best for less. P and B Promotionals. Are you under age 65 and still need health insurance? 
Now is the time. And we can help. We are be insured for life. And we assist people like you to get health insurance now. Individuals, families, self-employed, early retirees, gig workers, even 1099 filers. Or, you lost your job? No problem, our full suite of health life and supplemental plans fit every need. Some subsidized plans even have a zero monthly premium. What is your need? Call Be Insured for Life today at 866-357-0777. Or visit our website at beinsuredforlife.net. We are open all year. At my church, we help people get better by teaching them how the word works. And we want to make sure there is no excuse not to get the word. It's our goal to make all of our ministries accessible on every smartphone, tablet, PC, and television connected to the internet. So whether you're a man who needs some wisdom, a woman who needs some encouragement, or a couple who needs guidance, the My Church channel has just what you need. Simply search for the My Church channel on Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV, or visit MyChurchChannel.org. You can also download the My Church On The Go app from Apple or Google Play App Store. Constantly on the move? Check out the Word at My Church podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Or simply download the Word at My Church skill on your Alexa-enabled device. But whatever you do, make sure to stay connected. See you soon. The Akin Tune Day Show. Say what? Say what? You heard what I said. That's right, y'all. The Akin Tune Day Show. Spell it. A K I N uh, 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 Tune Day. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. What? You know, you, you know I can't do it. I can't, there's no way I'm, I'm not going. I'm going to leave here without one more. One more. One more. Yes. One more, I gotta give it to him. I know you probably don't want it, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Hey, hey, it's an Ox Show freestyle, last show, Ox Show live. That's okay, I call my wife. I told her I'm gonna do it, she said it's okay. Call everybody low and let them know it's Thursday. This a bad one. I can feel it right now. Sometime you can feel it when you ain't got the flow. Wow. There it is. I'm going to say it to your face. Pick up your mama. Pick up the pace. I don't know what that means, but I said it anyway. A freestyling, y'all. It's so Aki Tune Day. 52 years old. So cold. Back in the day, I used to wear gold. Then I changed to silver. Necklace, I had it. Tony Tone had one, yo. It was wacky. I'm saying it to y'all. I'm going to say it to your face. Pick up the flow, pick up the pace, aha, uh -huh, I'ma say it. It's an Ox Show Freestyle Buck Wild, last one, ha, huh? I'ma say it. Ox Show Freestyle, last one, Buck Wild, one, one, one. Ox Show Freestyle Buck Wild, son, son. Ox Show Freestyle Buck Wild, son. Ox Show, I see Tony Tone back there. He wants some, he wants some. Go and give it to him, Tony. Hey, yo. Yes. It's, it's, it's the time again. Got my, got my man. He's almost all my friend. Yes. Like a brother from another mother. Check it out, y'all. Yes. I gotta tell you how we do it, y'all. We rolling from Memphis 10 to Columbia, uh -huh. then back again. Uh -huh. uh, Tony uh -huh. Tone on the microphone. Uh -huh. I'm getting uh -huh. to you, yo. I'm never alone. Yes. I got my man, Akatune Day. Donna J. Yes. Jaleel in the background doing his thing. Yes. Check it out, y'all. We don't rap. We, 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 we don't sing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Drop uh -huh. the flow uh -huh. from the top of the dome. Check uh -huh. it out, y'all. Uh huh. It's Tony Tone. Tony Tone. Tony <laughs> Tone. Straight from Memphis. Never Memphis bleak. Tony Tone got the comedy all over the streets. He's been traveling all over the country. As you can see, go to his social media. You can see him. He worked out. He put Facebook porn on the inside. Website. <laughs> see it sometime. So you <laughs> 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 Listen, yo, I, I always mess with Tony. I always say, Tony, stop posting that Facebook porn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you got to clear this up, man. <laughs> you, got, you got people like Facebook porn. <laughs> I said that too. I was like Facebook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one one shirt, one picture with my shirt off, and he's talking about his Facebook porn. <laughs> no, I'm really hating. You know, it, I was gonna say, you know how haters. I'm do. hating. I'm hating. Haters I, be hating. Because I'm like, I wish I was in shape. But no, I got listen. I got Tony Toe that be joining me in just a little bit, and uh, we we gonna talk about Cat, and then of course we got uh, uh, Cat Williams will be calling in on the phone in just a little bit. So let uh -oh. everybody know we about to have some fun, y'all. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> Listen, Donna J. Yes, yes, I'm here. Wow, I'm here. sis. It's the Ooh, uh it's the, we last come, Thursday. The last Thursday live. Live. Yeah. yeah. Not gone. Not gone. Live. Just the last Thursday Yesterday, live. Thursday That's all. Live. That's all. That's all. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. We, I mean, because you know, it's a transition. It's a transition. And we got to transition because we want to be better and better and better and bring That's great right. content to the family. That's you right. Know, so. That's mm-hmm. right. It's necessary. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, um, as soon as Jaleel's ready, we're going to get Pastor Tuck on the screen. Yep. And um, like I said, we got some, you know, some guests on today. But um, um, so when did you hear about this whole Cat Williams saga? Oh, gosh. Um. Like right after, because I I'm I'm an avid watcher of mm-hmm. Club Shay Shay. Oh really? Okay. Avid, I mean, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So I I I watched the interviews, all the interviews that he was talking about, like uh-huh. with Steve Harvey uh-huh. and Cedric the Entertainer, Michael Blacks. I watched all those. Oh really? Okay. So okay. um so as soon as it aired, you know, as soon as it came on, I didn't watch it live, but as soon as it came on, mm-hmm. I was watching it. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. It was wow. interesting. It was I'll interesting. Tell you what. Yeah, yeah. We 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 gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna mm-hmm. go into it a little bit, y'all, and talk about. A little bit for, uh, on the show today, yeah. um, you know. Get get uh, you know. Uh, I said <laughs> oh, that's all I heard. It was I've, going, wow, I've been called the cat attack. You know, <laughs> you know. It's just yeah, uh, you know. But it's it, it's well, I won't get into it now. But we, we'll talk mm-hmm. about it in just a little bit. But uh, 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 Pastor Chuck is um, is up on screen, y'all. Uh, y'all saw him. He was there. He's he's on his phone. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, 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 it is. Uh, <laughs> I've been messing with Pastor Tuck. Me and Pastor Tuck cut up so bad off screen. And then we come on the show bad and then really boy, cut up. Bad boy. Hold on. Let me break. Gonna do? Hold on, man. I don't even know the half. Yeah, we <laughs> cut up big Y'all time. I do not know the half. Yes. It is it is magnanimous <laughs> foolishness that sometimes that we the way we act up. Um if the NSA ever reveals some of our phone calls, <laughs> it would be a show by itself. <laughs> That's what you need. You need that. You need an outlet. Uh, mm-hmm. Let me say this real quick. I saw where, I saw, I saw where uh, Leslie Ashley said she said it's so hard to find like the rooms on Clubhouse, and that's one of yeah. the reasons why you know yeah. I, that kind of led to some of the challenges that we begin to have. Anytime you, anytime you, you, you have two things. Anytime you have live, live is unpredictable. Let me say that live is unpredictable. That's the first thing. Secondly, anytime you are uh 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 uh, uh you you have you on a uh, a platform that you don't control, there's a certain level of your professionalism that you turn over to someone else. And that's probably that's the biggest side. Yeah. So so you got to have your own platform. So that's one of the things that uh that we're working to 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 do the the business side of it. So cuz once you have you know the the business side of it, then you have uh more opportunity. So I can, so let me tell you what just happened just now. Let, let, okay, I, I see I see you Pastor Tuck. Um I see I see you just said Pastor Tuck just said okay. So Yeah. So now, so now, but here's the whole thing. I didn't, I didn't do that just now. I, that was nothing concerning me right there. It just something shifted, you know. So and, and I don't know why that happened. That's the thing. That's the thing. When you you have to you have to do the due diligence and build out a network, and you have to have your own money, and it costs millions of dollars to build out a network, or mm. or at least you know uh, uh, tens <laughs> or yeah thousands. Okay, it used to tens back in the day thousands. cost millions. You know, <laughs> tens of thousands. So 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 supporting my church channel. Yeah. Say it again. Let me show everybody heard you say this. Say uh, support again. the My Church channel. You can sow. Yeah. Cash App. My Church Lynchburg. Yeah. Real talk. Real talk. Uh let me shout out the room. Well, this is the last time I'll be shouting the room. Let me so I said I said that one like there's one thing that I miss. And one of the, the biggest thing that I miss is Clubhouse. Uh mm-hmm. I cause I cause I yeah. still interact with my my Facebook family and I still interact with my YouTube family. But my my Clubhouse family. You know, it's it's like a very unique experience and interaction. When Clubhouse came yes. out, they really changed the game and the way yeah. and, and and so you know, as much as I have issues with some of the things about Clubhouse, and don't yeah. shut me down because I'm because you know, I'm telling the truth. Um, the the it, it, I love the the genuine interaction that that we have on Clubhouse and the, the culture that is created there. So shout out one last time, Mother Karen Earls. Come on, hey, y'all. Mama. Come on now. Mama. Come on. Your baby, boy, your baby boy's on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Pop Rose is uh I don't see him my on brother, here, but I know he's nearby. My brother. He said I couldn't be his I can't be his um kid, but I could be a sister. So. <laughs> my brother, brother Earls. Sister Earl. T- t- he you you too you too close <laughs> to, you too close in age to be his uh Yeah, that's what he says. Okay. You, well, okay. How, how is Pop Rose? <laughs> 
I thought Papa Rose was. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, he would be. Yeah, that be it. They they they, they close. They yeah, close. They <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine, what's up, Jermaine? How you doing, sir? Oh man, listen, I, I'm gonna tell y'all something we got special too. Uh, it, actually, I did. It came from Pastor Tuck, so this this is actually is going to be a blessing. Um, Paul, what's up, Paul? Hey, Paul. Paul, Woo. what to do, sir? Witty yes, is in the house. Uh-huh. What's up, Witty? How you mm-hmm. doing, sir? What's going on with you, my mm-hmm. sister Celeste? What up, Celeste? Yes. Wow, Ooh. man, man, I'm gonna miss yes. Celeste. Yep. But but, yep. but 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 I got something for y'all. Mm-hmm. Crystal is yep. in the building. What's up, Crystal? How you hey, doing, Crystal. sis? What's going on with you, man? You doing all right? Mm-hmm. Lorena is in the house. How you doing, ma'am? Lorena. What's going on? Kashada. What's Kashana. up, Kashada? Man. I like that name. Yes. Kashana. It's strong. Wow. Yeah. It's Kashana. always a, 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 like, you know, certain people, you can kind of mm-hmm. sense their, 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 their personalities through right. their pictures even. And, and, of course, my sister, Leslie Ashley. Leslie. What's going on? As Leslie always. Uh, uh, my Jamaican, yes. co- my Canadian Jamaican cousin. Canadian right. Jamaican Leslie. <laughs> what an amazing mix. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, of course, our Facebook family, our YouTube family. I'm going to go over and shout out Facebook and YouTube in just a little bit. But right now, I just want to shout out Clubhouse family. Let, let me say this to y'all. So one of the things that we're going to be doing with the show is if you're interested Send an email to info at the assignment agency dot com info at the assignment agency dot com. Because what we're doing is even though the show will be pre-recorded, you know, here or pre-produced, I should say um, uh, what we're doing is is when we when we have topics and, and we will reach out to our, uh, I guess, uh, echo chamber. Maybe not. No, no. Echo chamber is the wrong, the, the wrong word. Uh, a, our our crew, our uh, slate of folks that can give perspective. So whether that's a pre-recorded a um, uh, 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 thought or or top or, or or response, or whether that is they're on with us live in the stu- on, on the studio, but not live on, on air that day. We're still going to set it up so we can still have that interaction. I, that was one of the best things about doing a social media live show yes. because you get that genuine, genuine interaction and you can, and then you cannot uh, beat that. Takesha, sister Keisha Wallace in the house. What's up, sis? Hello. What's going on? Good evening. Good morning, ma'am. I saw, I say good evening because I saw her last night at church um, <laughs> uh, for Bible study. Butchie. Uh, Butchie in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Butchie the bank. <laughs> oh man, listen. Right. So 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 I I start getting these phone calls about Cat Williams, and I was like, Lord have mercy. And it just was. Everybody was like, Man, so what you think? You know, I I the other day I had so many. I probably had several conversations. I was like, Some of y'all folks, I ain't heard from y'all, and I don't know when. And everybody was calling me about Cat Williams. And um, you, you know, let me say this: I haven't I haven't seen or spoken to Cat Williams in probably in, in over twenty years, well over twenty years now. So it's been a long time. So in terms of you know where he is and 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 what's going on and my thoughts or opinions about the 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 individual people and what what happened, um, I I don't I don't have a whole lot of opinion about that i will say this and i shared this with somebody i said the thing with ricky when when cat was saying that ricky you know actually didn't have the role of money mike i shared this one experience and i got tony tone coming up in a little bit and i guarantee he probably can attest to this i remember one time they i, I, I auditioned for this tv show and when i walked out of the audition it was in la when i walked out of the casting agent's office my agent called me and said hey it went very well they like you. They want to give you the part. All you have to do is come back tomorrow and read one more time. I'm like, what? And so, so you're like, yeah, yeah, they loved it. They, you got the part. The part is yours. Come back tomorrow and read one more time. So that whole night, I'm like on cloud 10 because like I got this part. I call you this, of course. My homeboy, Doug Williams, who I was hanging around with a lot in L.A. Man, Doug was like, man, congratulations. That's going to be big for you. And yada, yada, yada. The next day, I get up. Go to the set, get there early. Um, you know, go, go to the casting office. I should say, get there early. And when I when I'm walking up to the casting office, Craig Robinson is coming out of the casting office, wow. and Craig has said, "They call you, you two? I said, "Yeah." He said, "I said, so you got the part?" He was like, "Man, there's thirty other comedians in there." I'm like, "What?" He said, "I said they told me I had the part. I I had to come in and read one more time." So yeah, they told me the same thing. And I'm like, wow. 
wow. So and then you and then you go in the room and it's all these other comedians in there, you know, folks who've gone on to do some amazing things. I mean, and we were like, okay, what's this? But that's the process. So mm-hmm. so I could see how it may have been. Ricky genuinely thought that he had the part. Um, and and it could have been a change. The bottom line of it is in casting and directing and producing, you may have one person slate to play this or, or, or to be a part of that, and then it changes because somebody else comes in, or you find out somebody else is available, or you read somebody that you did not know, and it just it's just a mind blowing shift. And you're like, hey, listen, we got to put you here and put this person there. So that type yeah. stuff happens in uh, in Hollywood all the time. I'm mm-hmm. sure, Donna, you you yeah. produce, you cast, you you've cast folks yeah. before. I'm mm-hmm. sure you've changed something something because of. You know, and whatever it, the reason, you know, whether if we felt that there was somebody that came in that uh, we could work better with or yeah. was better suited for the part, right. you know, it could be like somebody that we didn't even think about right. would be a great um, be a great asset for that part. Right. And then they come in, they blow it away, and you know, it's just like. Well, you know, yeah. eh, maybe, you know, and and we were quick to do this. You know, we would write somebody. Well, we'll write you in over here. Yeah. But you're not going to play this part. Sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I mean, that's just the nature of the business. And that's Sorry. the courtesy right there. Because a lot of times you don't even mm-hmm. get that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They just say, you know what? My you bad. Don't have- you don't have to fart. Pass, pass, Tony showed up. Tony Tone, sorry. We got to we got to Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Tony Tone. Next time. Right. Better right. Look next time. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's, uh-huh. the, that's, the, that's the, the nature of the business. But like, it so yeah. uh, uh, did you, did, did, did you watch that? Because to be clear, I have not seen the entire two hours and 45 minute interview. Oh, man, I, I watched just, it twice. Do you watch it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. I that, watched it that, twice. That, 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 that thing's amazing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's captivating TV. It is. You uh, can't ca- stop watching <laughs> oh, it. Ca- 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 I'm telling you, that interview was one of those things. It's like, it's almost like, it's one of those, what do you say, train wreck. It's like, you yes. cannot look away. That's yeah. right. You cannot look away. Yeah. <laughs> I watched it its entirety twice. Wow. Yes. So, what, so what, what's y'all, what's y'all uh, thought? What's y'all take on it? Just you know, one watch one, it. one thing I say is, cat cat is the boldest little cat <laughs> that you will ever find on the planet. Because yes. cat tell you, look at you don't like it, come see me, yep. come see me. It ain't yep. ain't like he one of these cats. I like, just just talking like mm-hmm. I'm just out here talk. Cat like mm-hmm. come see me, mm-hmm. <laughs> come see mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. I'm about I, this. I, 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 I'm about this. So whether uh-huh. he lying or telling the truth, can't like come see me if you don't okay, like it. That's right. Come see me. I, I ain't had. I'm I'm right here. And yeah, the thing yeah. about it is, like, what what, uh, what can you do? Because of course, that's a big me- uh, uh, megaphone right now. I mean, that thing is viral on steroids. 40, 43 mm-hmm. million mm-hmm. views I'm right now. You, mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. the funniest thing I saw, you know, because you see all these. The, these follow up things. I mean, every, you know, everything mm-hmm. is popping up. Cat Williams now. The funniest thing I saw, he put out a he put out like a live. He was at the airport. Mink Mink coat on. Talking. He was getting ready to go do a show in Philadelphia. He called out uh, Kevin Hart, and he was like, "I'm coming to your city." He said, Ooh, "And God. I'm gonna set up a boxing ring, a full court yep. basketball." Yep. He said, yep. two two microphones, and something else." He said, "He said we can we can get in the ring." We can play basketball. He said, we can have a freestyle rap battle. We yep. can do comedy. He said, I got a million dollars for each event. He said, you can come get it all in one. He said, oh, per event. He said, however you want to do this. He said, but come get it. He said, you say you ain't no puppet. He said, don't bring no white people. Just come yourself. That's he right. said, I don't need permission from nobody. He said, come get it if you want it. Lord. Yep. He sure I'm is. like, and so I'm like, <laughs> if a man dollars. call you out like that, what you gonna do? Uh-huh. What you gonna do? But but I'm saying, if he if you call me out like that, I, I got to come see you. I you know I I I <laughs> I would take I personally I personally would take the Steve Harvey approach. Which is, I just would not. I would He's not. He's not respond. saying anything. I would not respond. No, I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. I'm sorry. I wouldn't put. I'm sorry. I got. See, I got too much street in me. Let me. Uh, I, I, you I, call I, me out Chuck like that. He's going. He's going in. Got, He's going yeah, in. Yeah. I, yeah. I got too much street in me. If you call me out like that, I got to come see you. Let me. Let me tell you why. I will never forget this one comedian who we did a. Uh, we did a search for the one stand-up comedy talent search, and then we came to the final round. You know, we we yeah, do six rounds, six cities, uh, in search of one comedian. We came to the final round, and we had to, and, and we did the final, and the comedian that actually lost in a previous round but actually went into another city and tried again and got into the finals and he won. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. And it mm-hmm. and it was it was it was purely because of the the, the way stand up happens. Chemistry is chemistry, and and he had a, an amazing set that night. Mm-hmm. He won hands down. And so then so this this particular comedian was coming out saying, "Oh, it's fixed. I can tune. They wanted this particular comedian to win, and um, all of this stuff." And, mm-hmm. and 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 so folks hit me, texting me, calling me, and and it was like you know he's saying this on social media. Aren't, aren't you gonna respond? I was like, no. I said I'm not. I said, I'm not. I said, I said, first of all, it's a lie. Secondly, I don't have anything to do with the voting, period. I never do. That's one of the things I set in place set straight up. I, I, I tell people all the time, even though my wife is an agent, I have nothing to do with the booking of other comedians because it's too murky. So I, so I stay out of it, right? And, and it was so, so, and so people are like, well, you're not going to say nothing. I said, I ain't going to say nothing because if I say anything, I feed the fire. And that's and and that's what I was I would say, you know, I would I would take that approach. I will say this. Mm-hmm. I will say this. This is a big old fire right here. This a oh, yeah. yeah. This, this is a big old fire. fire right here. Yeah. This is a big old fire. Yeah. And see and the thing I, I guess the reason why I say it is this because it ain't like he just came for you and you ain't never said nothing. Yeah. This this one of those things where y'all been going back and forth. So I say at that point, if he done called you out now, he done, he done, he done pulled your ticket. Because yeah. if you've been talking trash and he's been talking trash and he pull, he call you out like that in your home city, what you going to do? Well, Kevin Hart's wife is going on tour with Cat Williams. Okay, see, that's... His yeah. ex-wife, ex-wife. See, see. He's Ooh, going on see. tour. Yep. See, see? That's, so that's what I'm like. So that's what I'm like. See, it's one thing if you had never engaged with him and this was a one-sided beef, but it's like y'all been beefing <laughs> back and forth and then he done called you out in your home city. That's why I was like... Cat that dude, cat like no. This ain't the one you want. Cat, cat the show them. This ain't the one you want. I know. I just know that uh, the other side of it too is that it's black folks. It's black folks mm-hmm. arguing oh, with yeah. black folks, beefing with black folks. Always, you know. And so that's the so always. again, again, we got. I got Cat Williams that's going to be calling into the show in just a little bit. So y'all just stand by for that. And uh, 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 but here's the whole thing I need y'all stand by for too. Y'all listen, listen. Coming up, let me play. Let me get my music ready. Coming up. February 4th, it is a special pre-Valentine First Sundays that'll be right on that stage right behind me, right back there. And this time, for the lovers, for the lovers and the laughers, people who want to love and laugh at the same time, we've got a special love and laughter edition. And I have, hold on, let me stop the press. I have a special guest that will be in the house. Gospel inspirational recording artist Rudy Currens will be my special guest for first Sundays on February the 4th. So you're going to get a full comedy show and then a full music concert, y'all. This is, we've never done this. Rudy Kearns, of course, you have seen him on Stella Awards. He's a Stella nominated Mm -hmm. artist. Um, Had one of the biggest years, the biggest two years, really. And uh, had a big hit single with Chrisette Michelle and uh, Rudy would be in the house. So I'm I'm super excited about that. He's on tour right now and uh, he's doing a special run of shows for Valentine's uh, for February. And uh, he's going, one of the dates is going to be right here at First Sunday. So y'all, go ahead and get your tickets right now. If you have not, log on to FirstSundaysComedy.com FirstSundaysComedy.com First Sunday has already been selling out and packing out Okay, I can guarantee you This month right here is going to be a sellout Let me say this right here too as well is If you want to be one of our search First Sundays ticket agents For 2024, definitely You can reach out to us directly by calling us At 1-800-280-0094 That's 1-800-280-0094 Also if you want to use First Sundays as a fundraiser, you can do so. So you can get a block of tickets and utilize those tickets to actually raise funds, funds for your cause, for your organization, or just make you some money yourself by selling, reselling our virtual tickets. So uh, the virtual experience has really been growing, and we've had some great events this year. And uh, huge shout out to the entire WF Media Group family. So again, Rudy Currents coming up, special guest for First Sundays, February 4th, 2024. And uh, it is actually our one year celebration of First Sundays right here at WF Media Studios. So, again, go ahead and get your tickets right now. Log on to FirstSundaysComedy.com. That's FirstSundaysComedy.com. Rudy Currents, yours truly, and a full comedy lineup of special guests that will be in the house that night. All right? Yo, man. All right, so I got, yeah. I told y'all, we got Cat Williams coming in a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I got Tony Tone that'll be here a little bit later on. Mm-hmm. And uh, family, listen, I want y'all to uh, let everybody know. Let them all know we. This is the last live I can tune day show, all right. The last live I can tune day show, and I shouldn't say live show because we may do some special lives. 
it may be something that again that happens but the 10 o'clock a.m tuesday and thursdays live show is coming to an end today all right and uh, i told y'all already up top to y'all tuesday i'll tell you the reason why i'm top today and uh, just a little bit Cat Williams calls in Tony Tone a little bit later Hey family Don't y'all move Call your mama Call your daddy Call your auntie And your uncle And let them know We cutting up y'all This is the Ooh. I Can Tune Day show Alright uh, I'll check your text One of the best stories That I have In satisfying One of our clients Happened just recently uh, We had a young lady That was doing Did a family reunion for And then they came back And placed a reorder now, when they placed the reorder, we could not get everything done in time. Well, we had to pull a lot of strings, make some things happen, work a little bit late, but it worked out where we were able to get the t-shirts printed and out for delivery. That's the things that we do for our clients, and we want to do that for you as well. It's easy to become frustrated when ordering branded products and apparel. But PNB Promotionals is here to help ease those frustrations with their over 800,000 promotional products and apparel. Whether screen printed t-shirts, embroidered polo shirts, stadium cups, umbrellas, or mugs, PNB Promotionals has just what you need. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. That's pbpromotionals.com or send an email to info at pbpromotionals.net. Info at pbpromotionals.net. Imprinting the best for less. P and B Promotionals. Are you under age 65 and still need health insurance? Now is the time. And we can help. We are being short for life. And we assist people like you to get health insurance now. Individuals, families, self-employed, early retirees, gig workers, even 1099 filers. Or, you lost your job? No problem, our full suite of health life and supplemental plans fit every need. Some subsidized plans even have a zero monthly premium. What is your need? Call Be In Short For Life today at 866-357-0777. Or visit our website at beinsuredforlife.net. We are open all year. It's the Ock and Tune Day Show. Say what? Say what? You heard what I said. That's right, y'all. The, the, the Ock and Tune Day Show. Smell it. A-K-I-N, uh, 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 Tune Day. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. The Ock and Tune Day Show is brought to you by PNB Promotionals. Be insured for life. Presley Cares Mortuary Services. And so many other great sponsors who have blessed us. Mary Kay Cosmetics. Our sister, Marcia Robinson McBride. The Wind. Mills Agency and more LLE Construction There's so many sponsors who have, have, have supported us And we thank you all And uh, listen, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Mr. Pelham and Brenda Myers over at PNB Promotionals Looking for promotional products and apparel? Look no further than PNB Promotionals Place your brand and logo on just about anything With PNB Promotionals Over 800,000 products Hats, mugs, backpacks Bottles, cups Drinking glasses, lip balm, chewing gum, candy, and of course, t-shirts. PNB Promotionals is a nationally certified advertising institution. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. pbpromotionals.com. Imprinting the best for less PNB Promotionals. Are you in need of a quality used vehicle? Well, consider my friends over at Woods Automotive Sales. Whether you're in the market for a new vehicle or a used vehicle, foreign or domestic, Woods Automotive can get you rolling. Give them a call at 803-401-5837. That's 803-401-5837. Or go by and see Lester at 802 Hazelwood Road, Columbia, South Carolina. That's 802 Hazelwood Road, Columbia, South Carolina. Woods Automotive Sales, guaranteed to ride with a smile. And listen, if you want to be one of our sponsors as the I Can Tune This Show continues to grow and, and, and expand, make sure that you reach out to us directly at 1-800-280-0094. We have some great new sponsor packages. When I tell you, let me say this right here. When I tell you God is so faithful, and there are some new opportunities that have come up in the very, very recent uh, uh, past. Uh, and it's really b been a blessing uh, to me 
just it's what it does is is when you do something and you endeavor to be faithful and consistent at it and you just trust god and 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 truly believe that his steps his measures are going to come to the full manifestation and of what he the vision that he gave you and you see it come to pass it is a mind-blowing blessing so on monday it'll be monday i would say tuesday at the latest we're making an announcement about a new uh project a new opportunity that has that has come up it's solidified and um uh, we, we're going forth so the i can tune this show is continuing on there's there is we're not canceling the ox show to be clear we're just expanding to handle more that's simply all that we're doing clubhouse facebook youtube and of course talking about more the my church channel one of the biggest things that happened this year is we got a chance to go on to uh roku apple tv amazon fire tv uh, google play lg tv and more via the my church channel that is of course is a channel that is uh, curated and managed by my good friend pastor lewis tucker an amazing opportunity and uh, right about now it's, it's about a year ago that the, the the opportunity came up and um a little less than a year when he actually he went live with it so he, he was shouting you pastor tuck with the my yes. church channel Shout and out. uh and uh we trust Woo. and believe god that god will continue to expand your territory and be a blessing to you sir bless the lord bless the lord right. yeah um y'all mm-hmm. listen um i got I, I i wanted to have this 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 brother on um and um um uh uh but, but, but before we do that something is come happening real big and uh in virginia so cat williams is coming up in just a little bit like just like a few seconds. But before we we get the cat, um, a night of laughs and music is happening. Pastor Tuck, go ahead and tell everybody yes, about sir. it, sir. Yes, sir. On uh February the third, Saturday, Saturday at five PM in Portsmouth, Virginia at St. John's Baptist Church. Uh-huh. We will be celebrating the twenty seventh pastoral anniversary pastoral 27 years of pastoral ministry of none other than pastor robert earl senior yes 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 Yes. a night of laughs and music yes none other than comedian jason earls jason and violinist eric taylor jason earls and eric taylor celebrating 27 years yes yes for ticket information, if you want ticket information, just go to the My Church Channel Facebook page. The yeah. flyer is there. You can scan the barcode. Go to the go to the event. Get your tickets right there. Tickets are thirty five dollars. If you are in the Virginia area, Portsmouth area, you want to be in the place because I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. Yes, twenty two hundred Effingham Street, Portsmouth, Virginia, and uh, you can go at St. John Baptist Church. Pop Earl's twenty seventh year pastoral anniversary happy anniversary sir to you and mom earls and, and and thank you for doing what you do in ministry and and and, and blessing people and being just such an encouraging blessing i tell jason i said you have you you are a blessed man uh yep. to have a mom and a dad and uh you know it, I, I always i said man I, I wish i had that type of relationship with my father my natural yeah. father so uh wow. pop earls is definitely of, of, of one of my surrogate dads and i sure appreciate him for his the way he blesses and mentors so many people loves mm-hmm. on so many people you and mom earls mm-hmm. uh for what y'all do so congratulations on 27 years of, of ministry you know it's it's so crazy you know we've been talking about this this transition and you know going away from clubhouse and you know and i've been looking at the comments talking about how many people talk they're gonna miss this show you know and i was just sitting there thinking you were talking about it of of all the stuff we've been doing in this show and all the things we've gained from it like you said the relationships are the most yes man and it's it's man I, I, i i gained so many relationships like you said, just from Clubhouse in itself, you know, like Ope, Stefan, you know, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's just, mm-hmm. you know, you know, Leslie, Ashley, you know, Kimberly, you know, uh, Ashley, Bailey, Bailey Kimberly, Ashley. you know, I mean, Celeste, Marian, you know, oh man, Marvin. it's just, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just, it's been <laughs> crazy. Stewart. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's mm-hmm. just, it's crazy, all the relationships, but out of out of everything, doing this Ox show, you know, besides you and Donna, I mean. I gain I gain real family out of this. Yeah. You know, yeah. Jason is my is like my blood brother. Yeah. You know, mom and pop are now my 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 parents. Yeah. Because Aww. for me, you know, it's it's big because I don't have natural parents anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And now yeah. they're actually my parents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Yeah. And people don't realize how real this is, man. This mm-hmm. it's big, man. It's big. Praise God. Yeah. My kids have grandparents again. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
This wow. big, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Well, I'm telling you, it, it, and I, I, I'm going to jump in right here. Go ahead. Pastor Tug, you didn't touch my heart right here mm -hmm. because I, you know, when I came to the show, I came and I just asked Ock, um, how do you do your show? What mm -hmm. are you doing? I was, because I'm <laughs> wanting to do my own show. Yeah. And um, I said, how, he was like, you know, just, you know what, you want to get your hands dirty? Come on in here and come on as an intern and, and you know, learn some things. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So I came over and I was just sitting around. I was like, okay. And so I told one little joke. And after that, he put me on. <laughs> put you to work. I put you in the game. He put me in. I put and, you in the game. He, and I cannot tell you how much of a blessing it has been for this family, the family out here, but the family right here too with Ock and Pastor Tuck, because yeah. these are two alpha males. <laughs> And I have to see that always stretches. She always oh stretches. Oh my them. god! Yet yeah, two alpha males, and they go at it like bull ring <laughs> sometimes. You know, and I and I'm like, okay, all right, all right, I, I can handle this. If I can handle them too, I can handle <laughs> anything. And then Jaleel jumps in, oh, yeah. you know, and uh, and Tristan, and I'm like, oh, I'm surrounded, you know. Yeah. So, but it <laughs> she said so it well. has been a pleasure and an honor. To be able to talk to our family out there in yeah. Facebook Clubhouse and whatnot, and they they're with us every time. Every time we come on, they're on. Yeah. If they can't come on, I know they're watching the replay. Yeah. So you know, it it's been it's been a wonderful uh, experience, and it's been years now. And I you know I was uh, yeah. saying the other day, yeah. it's been years. It it has gone by so yeah. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, time so, flies. Yeah, like yeah. Janice said, Jackson yeah. said, when you're having mm -hmm. fun, you know, so. And mm -hmm. I got to jump in one one more thing. Go ahead. I got to say that I have gotten a sister out of this with Unissa. And I got Amen. all these kids now. Um, the five <laughs> over here and the two over there, Kai and Courtney. And yep. the five over here. Yep. The five uh, singers that was the on this. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's funny. Uh, and, and yeah, that's you know, hilarious. I just, you know, I, it's just so much love. Because I'm in Columbia, really by myself in yeah. Columbia. Yeah. And my daughter lives in another part of South Carolina. My sister lives in another part of South Carolina. Yeah. So I'm really here by myself. And But I don't feel by myself. You, I don't feel by myself. And you're not by yourself. You know, you, you know yeah. we, we, we got your back, Donna. And, I appreciate uh, that. Jenna, Quan, Max, mm -hmm. Miles. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Those the, are my baby. The, the whole mm -hmm. crew, the, 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 the Donna Johnson clan, we love y'all. We thank y'all mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, and it's, it's, it's real love. It's, mm -hmm. it's real family. It's real relationship. Yep. And uh, I think that's, that's I would say that's one of the biggest things that have come out of this I Can Tune Day show. That's it. Um, uh, relationship this will be something here that'll be mm -hmm. big um this is uh we on the phone we got uh cat williams um right. who you know uh has been i love you cat did he actually did he actually call he's, yeah. he's actually yeah, he's on right now so i, I want to wow. you know of course you know this whole thing you know jumped off on this past week uh now just not not even seven days now or right or, or thereabout and uh man cat um uh, how you doing brother what you know all, all that's happening you know <laughs> you hold, hold on, hold on a minute. Put the cigarette uh, out. Uh, you give me, give me a, a couple of seconds to catch my breath. Uh, I'm sorry. I just finished running my my daily four three forty. Yeah, that's what I do every morning. I start yeah. out with a four three forty, <laughs> and then I read my three hundredth book yeah. before Cat. noon. Okay. Cat, you said that you 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 read three thousand books in a year. How how is that even possible, Cat? Well, I mean, you know how many books you got to read in a year, in a day, to read three thousand books in a year. Yes, sir. and and I do that. I do that um on the daily. That's actually a, a very very uh slow year. <laughs> Normally, wow. it's um five to fifty five hundred uh books. Uh, a year, <laughs> and, and these are children's wow. books. Are these children books you're reading? Cats? All kinds of books. I read. I read books about everybody: <laughs> children, grown adults, animals, because there's something to learn <laughs> from from whatever wow. you read, wow. whatever, whoever you read about. It's there's always something to learn, <laughs> and I'm learning a lot. I've learned a lot. That's why I'm doing all these um, different podcasts around the country now because. <laughs> 
um, as they say, um, people say when you travel, you know, they call them, they're on the expedition. Well, me, I'm on an exposition. I'm exposing. <laughs> yes. Wow. Any yes. and everybody that I've encountered, that yes. uh, whether you've done me wrong, if you haven't done me wrong, I'm just, it's all about truth. That's well, right. That's right, Kat. Well, Tell him. Well, Mr. And, Williams, I, 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 excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you, sir. Go ahead, sir. Don't let I'm it sorry. happen again. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, 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 this is Pastor Tuck, by the way. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I just I just was wondering because I watched the special. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm, you know, I'm a man of truth. I, 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 I love truth. Truth and, recognized uh, you, you truth. Know, you, you just, yeah, yes, sir. That's it. That's why. That's why I loved it. And you know, and I, I was listening how you were talking about all of the different comedians. I mean, because you know, and a lot of people were saying, you know, it was wrong for you to say the things you said. And you know, and I, I'm a man. I'm, I'm from the streets myself, cat. I, I and, do and know I believe, that. We will you know, touch on that in a minute. Go ahead. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> I, 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 I believe you got to tell it like it is. So, uh, you know, I, I heard you talk about a lot of the, a lot of the comedians, but I. I didn't hear you say anything about Akintunde. I know he's been out in the game for a oh, while. No. So, so I, I just, I just wondered. You know, was there anything you knew about Akintunde? Well, because- <laughs> well, it, it's funny that you asked that because that's why I'm here this morning. I mean, he inter- oh. he he actually invited me to be on his show, but he didn't know that I have stuff on him too, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> what? See, what I'm doing right now? I, I'm I'm riding around and and traveling, exposing people that I, that that once had a different <laughs> life, but now they're posing <laughs> as uh, they turning over a new leaf. But I know about the old leaves, <laughs> and people. Having podcasts going under African names. That's not even the original name. I knew, well, he called himself Akintunde, but back when he was Melvin Reynolds wow. in Savannah, wow. Georgia. So as he's trying he to was act new on us. He was <laughs> Melvin Terra in the streets. He was going around beating up people that I know he knows about these names uh, at a club called RDs. <laughs> and. Two guys downtown Savannah. I'm sure they. That's why he's not in Savannah no more. That's why he came up here to Columbia, trying to turn over a new life. And he he hired wow. two two accomplices. They um, they go by pastors and Donna J's and the whole entire podcast is uh, all of you are perpetrating. I'm here to tell you right now because. I'm gonna tell you now. Now, Pastor Tuck, going coming back to you and what you mentioned your street reference um, <laughs> that I do, we all know about you, Pastor. Well, once upon a time, Pastor was a bully in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> he, should, he, he makes he makes oh, Suge God. Knight looks like a choir boy. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, we and not no, only was he, no, not that's only him down now. No, he not, didn't say nothing. Talk about me. Not oh, only okay. was Pastor to, and see, Pastor, that's the thing I have a problem with. People going under pastors. Most pastors, uh, they have a pass, and that's why his name is Pastor Tuck because he's trying to tuck him away. He's trying to tuck away his secrecy. The thing is, I'm trying to tell you what I'm trying to tell you, Pastor. The Tuck was once known as a construction worker, but he only dealt he only dealt in bricks, if you know what I mean. Only dealt in bricks. And now he's all now he's all pastoring around and trying to tell everybody about the gospel when we need need to hear about his gospel. That's what we do. And I know I I've also told you about we talked about comedians stealing jokes. Well, you got pastors stealing sermons too. Right? Uh, everybody, I'm sure you're all familiar with Reverend James Cleveland. Very revered, very revered, and 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 Pastor Tuck, he changed a little thing, but we know where he got it from. Instead of him saying, "Who in the hell left the gates open?" He said, "Who in the hell left the door open?" But we know where he got it from. So, Pastor, you can pass me with the all of that. And Donna J, I, I, I hear you over there laughing all jubilant and everything, Donna J, but we know about you too. Back in your days in Long Island, oh, Jesus. Oh, up in Jesus. New York, she, now I'm going to tell you something right now. Donna J, is, that's not a radio name. It started as a stripper now. We know about that. Oh, no, no, can't, 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 no, no. 
Yes, no. it was. Yes, I, it, let's just say her no, favorite. No, no, I no. thought you was okay. holding that. You're no. supposed to hold that cat. No. Her favorite <laughs> video game in the arcade back in the day was pole position. Oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, no, oh, no, Jesus. no, no, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Okay, cat. No. Well, listen, <laughs> listen. Let me, let me, let me stop cat right now. <laughs> no, it, 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 it's too late right now. I can tune date. Well, I'm sorry, Melvin Reynolds. <laughs> Oh my God, Cat! Let me ask you he one was last question. To hold that. Let me ask you one last question, Cat. <laughs> sure, sure. Go ahead. Um, uh, concerning concerning this whole thing, they tell me you taking Kevin Hart's wife on tour. Now that's just mm-hmm. messy, Cat. Mm-hmm. That's just mm-hmm. that's just messy. You to take a man's ex wife out on tour. Yeah, everybody know the rules. Is if you you don't date somebody's yeah. ex, you don't you don't take out somebody's ex, mm-hmm. and you taking this man's yeah. ex wife. That's just messy, Cat. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I can yeah put that one. I like that one. <laughs> Yeah, where that one right there? That, is that the one Kevin got? You? That's the one Kevin. Okay, yeah, where that right? I don't, I don't care. This way, look. Yeah, um, as you were saying, you're talking about um. Now listen, look, I'm an equal opportunity person. <laughs> If you want to work with me, I'll give everybody some work. I can't help it because Kevin's ex-wife come to me. I didn't come to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she asked me if he, and she, she does comedy. So I said, come on down. You can work with me. Jesus. Oh, Exclusively. Okay. Wow. <laughs> she Yo. put her heart into it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yo. Cat Williams, y'all. Ooh. Cat Williams, right here on the I Can Tune Day Show. You can Ooh, see. Thank you. you for coming on. Yeah, Cat. And uh, I want to thank everybody for having me too. Thank you, Melvin <laughs> and <laughs> Pastor Tuckaway Secrets and Donna J the Pole Dancer. Thank you very much. Y'all listen. Y'all point your hands to the screen and pray for Cat Williams. One more question. Can I ask Cat one more question? You at, at Kat, your own Kat, risk. Kat, Go ahead. Cat, Cat, have you ever seen that picture with Ock laid back? You know, in that real vulnerable <sighs> position. Do you know anything about that photography session? That he had. I, I mean, because that thing looked real suspect. Yeah, I well, see. I, I, let's just I say uh, he's got a picture of T.D. Jakes in his back ah! pocket. Ah! Bye, go to break, 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 go to break. Cat Williams. That Cat was Williams powerful show. coming from the bottom. Cat, yeah. <laughs> one of the best stories that I have in satisfying one of our clients happened just recently. Uh, we had a young lady that was doing did a family reunion for, and then they came back and placed a reorder. Now, when they placed the reorder, we could not get everything done in time. Well, we had to pull a lot of strings, make some things happen, work a little bit late, but it worked out where we were able to get the t-shirts printed and out for delivery. That's the things that we do for our clients, and we want to do that for you as well. It's easy to become frustrated when ordering branded products and apparel, but PNB Promotionals is here to help ease those frustrations with their over 800,000 promotional products and apparel. Whether screen printed t-shirts, embroidered polo shirts, stadium cups, umbrellas, or mugs, PNB Promotionals has just what you need. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. That's pbpromotionals.com. Or send an email to info at pbpromotionals.net. Info at pbpromotionals.net. Imprinting the best for less. P&B Promotionals. At my church, we help people get better by teaching them how the word works. And we want to make sure there is no excuse not to get the word. It's our goal to make all of our ministries accessible on every smartphone, tablet, PC, and television connected to the internet. So whether you're a man who needs some wisdom, a woman who needs some encouragement, or a couple who needs guidance, the My Church channel has just what you need. Simply search for the My Church channel on Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV, or visit MyChurchChannel.org. You can also download the My Church On The Go app from Apple, or Google Play App Store. Constantly on the move? Check out the Word at My Church podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Or simply download the Word at My Church skill on your Alexa-enabled device. But whatever you do, make sure to stay connected. See you soon. It's the Ock and Tune Day Show. Say what? Say what? You heard what I said. That's right, y'all. The, the, the Ock and Tune Day Show. Spell it. A K I N uh, 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 Tune Day.
Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, y'all, we back. And, um, and, uh, we are. They said we muted on Clubhouse. Let's see. Uh. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, Three, two. Four. Giving you more. <laughs> uh, it's the show, y'all. Mm, mm. You know, y'all. Mm, mm. Clubhouse, <laughs> turn it up. Uh, this funky instrumental, early in the morning. Uh, yeah, Akatune Day show. Uh, don't you know? Got my boy. Uh, let's go. Now, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, anybody who, who who probably recognizes that that was not actually Cat Williams. Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Jaleel, go ahead and break Tony up on screen. <laughs> Jaleel, <laughs> Jaleel going back into the studio. There's so much stuff going on uh, uh, right here, right now. <laughs> we got everybody. Everybody's here right here in the studio in Columbia, South Carolina. I'm here to tell you right now. <gasps> we got Chris Tucker with his rebuttal. Hey, man. Hey, man. Come on, man. It's Chris Tucker, man. How you going to say that, Cat? Uh, what's up, man? Cat was man. throwing jab. I was like, Cat just throwing jabs at everybody. I <laughs> know. Like nobody was safe. <laughs> like nobody was safe. <laughs> Even people walking by the walking by the studio. Right. Look at that brother out there. Right. <laughs> You're a you, fat face on liar. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the duck with them bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was my favorite line of the whole joint. He said, "Yeah, fat face, face on liar." Yeah, man, that 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 line is 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 etched in society now. People gonna be using that. Yes, sir. Using yes, it on sir. everybody. I'm gonna I'm I'm be calling somebody that every time they start lying to me. Yeah, fat <laughs> face on liar. The only thing I will I will have I'm I'm at the jump on Tony uh, for that TD Jakes line. <laughs> 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 to jump on Tony after what? the show. What? What? <laughs> what? You're a fat face on liar. <laughs> no. You're going to hear that at presidential debates. They can be telling Trump that. You're a fat face on liar, Trump. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is, who is that? I don't know. I don't, I don't okay. even know face on. <laughs> Never heard of him. Tony Toe tonight will be at the Charlotte Comedy Zone. Yes. Along with Don DC Curry tonight through Sunday. Wow! Yes. Wow! So yeah, you've man. been so that, that's your that's your you, so you look yeah. at that camera. Yeah, right I'm there. sorry, yeah, man. Yeah, you looking. Like, I just totally you know why I kept looking down because this microphone. Every time I have a microphone stand like this, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of uh, I t- it takes me back to Rambo. Yeah, remember he said uh, Murdoch. <laughs> Murdoch, <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, because he had a micro. Look at the look at the movie. Look yeah, at the movie. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm being like a that. movie yeah, nerd. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. y'all. I'm sorry. Where's my camera? <laughs> that, that, you, you camera too. Right? <laughs> I see. I, yeah. <laughs> All right. Tony told tonight, uh, Comedy Zone, Charlotte, and yes, uh, they, I mean that's gonna be uh, like I'm, y'all doing four four nights. Uh, four nights. Uh, we're doing six shows, four nights. One show tonight, two tomorrow, two wow. Saturday, one Sunday, man. And uh, wow. working with the legendary. Don DC Curry. Uh, <laughs> Arc and Tune Day. You know, my first paid comedy gig was opening up for Don DC Curry. Really? In Augusta, wow. Georgia. Not a, at the comedy house. No. Washington. No. Actually it wasn't the comedy house. Where no, was it? it was a it was a some place called the it was like it was a the merry go round or carousel the carousel oh the carousel, the carousel. Oh, yeah remember I forgot that about that yeah, man yeah, yeah. The carousel you yeah, know why man. you don't remember that Tony you yeah. know why you don't remember that why is that because he was billed as Melvin <laughs> <laughs> Melvin Reynolds hey y'all give it up for Melvin Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Melvin Riddles had an awesome set. Yeah. Like, hey, let's bring out DC. Give it up for his overalls and, ah! and, and he had on with no shirt. Ah! <laughs> I, nev- I never did it with no shirt. I, ne- I don't think I did with a lot of hamburger I, meat. A lot of hamburger meat. A lot of hamburger meat. meat. <laughs> I, I think I went out one time. One time I tried, I pulled that stunt. I went out <laughs> with some overalls on with no shirt on just, and just and just rode around. I had a, I had a drop top Jeep. <laughs> Had a, that, he had that's, the Jeep from New Jack City. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Tony was gutter man. 
<laughs> you, know, you know how ridiculous you got to be <laughs> to be riding around with a Jeep and a Jeep with the top down and no shirt no on with shirt some overalls. Overalls. Come one, on. one strap up, one strap down. <laughs> it, 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 he, had, he had a fresh, uh, fresh produce in his back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, <laughs> terrible. That, oh but, my god! Oh man! You, you, you need to shut uh, that jeep down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Rock a bye, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I traded in, baby. That's what she said. Oh my god! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Show did trade it in. Um, <laughs> man, Tony, you know, uh, 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 me and you uh, yeah. been doing comedy uh, now over over, over 30, thirty years. Yeah, over thirty, yeah, man. Years, you know, yeah. So, so, we, so. And, and and I one thing I do want to address is okay. the whole thing about the uh, the somebody was like what what about you know joke thieves and mm-hmm. and there you you know y- y- listen I've seen people remix jokes I've yeah. seen people borrow jokes I yeah. know comics who out, out outright steal jokes yeah outright o- yeah. over the years personas you know? yeah yeah yes yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean and sometimes I tell people I say the thing about a joke is you can't copyright a live joke that you do right in. Uh, the uh, uh, on on tour, maybe you right. know you may be able to copyright, maybe you know the the T shirt that came from the joke. Right, you right. can you can set up a website based on the slogan, right? But and, you you can't you can't copyright the joke. In comedy, uh, we can do a. Um, I think you could do it. They do it also. Uh, used to do it in um, movie filmmaking, all kind of. You can do a poor man's patent. Yeah, yeah. Where you 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 uh you mail say it to all yourself. your jokes. Yeah, you mail yeah. it to yourself. Say all your jokes, record it, and then mail it to yourself. Yeah. And that's your poor man's patent, but you know, hey man, I mean, joke thievery is something that that, that goes across. It's not just uh, uh, it crosses ethnic lines. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You oh, know, Robin, the great War- Robin Williams oh, was yeah. writing checks every time he wa- walked off yeah, stage. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. saying it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a bad thing across any ethnic line. I'm just saying, like stealing jokes. But yeah, yeah it, it happens, man. Yeah. Have people remix stuff and yeah. They said Robin Williams was a notorious joke. Thief. Notorious man. And then certain some people. That's why yeah, some people have signature. Jokes that you just you know it's still like like if you some if, if you see somebody doing you know when I first came in here you know <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah but but then people re, they also remix I, I don't Richard Pryor probably is the only person who is probably safe would you say um, from, from 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 any type of joke how yeah. he did his yeah if you if you do anything. Any of his stuff, how he did it, then yeah, it, it's yeah, it's, it's hard to do. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just because yeah. he's been around so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. could do the same topics. You can talk about the same topic. It is yeah. how you bring it across. Right, right. But but that well, that's what happens when you talk about topical stuff. Yeah. But uh, if you do stuff unique to your life, can't nobody really copy nobody your can, life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, yeah. That, and that's why we say that one of one of the, the safest things to do in comedy is to talk about your life. Nobody yeah. can ever take away what you, what and happened from your you, perspective. From your perspective. Yeah. From your, your perspective. Your that perspective is, the same is your thing. perspective. You yeah. Know? But that's yeah. but that's not what Mark Curry said. Mark Curry said Steve Harvey stole his Halloween. Stole his Halloween. I, yeah, you're right. I saw that. I did see that. Here's it, the thing, though. Here's the thing. See, some topics. There's a bleed. With yeah. some topics, yeah. some topics, yeah. particularly if you if you're talking about the 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 the, the black experience, yeah. and you're talking about the yeah. the the how how you live life and what's going on in life, a lot of times there's some bleed over. And my experience may be similar to you, but sometimes this is just straight up, you know, somebody snatched the joke. Yeah, and 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 the yeah. thing about comedy is whoever makes it to TV first with that joke, it's their joke. But that that's the LA rule. That's a Hollywood rule, but but even but yeah, but, but I know what you're saying though. That is like your. That's not the street rule. It's, it's nah, not. Nah. It's not the street rule. But here's the whole thing. So let's say I take one of Tony's jokes, right, and then I go on some big TV show, whatever the hot show, or Netflix, and steal it. You did because you. Yeah. I, I, I did. Good night. That's my time first. <laughs> and then Arkansas they gonna say it one night. Good night. That's my time. I said that's my that's my end of the joke. That's my, I, I go, and then he held the mic in the same hand as I do. It's just, it's just, it's petty yeah, accusations. I, I take my drink up off the, yeah, off yeah, the stool. You know, you know how you do it. You know petty, how you do it. Petty it, accusations. Right. And put the stool back. And you had a stool. I had a stool yeah, first. Really? You supposed to have a chair. I was the first person to have a stool. <laughs> first, I was the first comedian to ever carry a stool on stage. I'm the first oh, person to perform oh. under lights. Yeah. I, I, I was the first person to perform under lights and everybody started no, stealing. First of all, I'm the first person to ever have a Coke on stage. <laughs> Nobody had a drink on stage before I did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first person that came up to intro music. <laughs> I did. And all of a sudden, everybody want to do it. Wow. Def Jam, they stole my whole method, man. It's, it's crazy. But man. You, you, so, we, 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 we being funny, but they, they are yeah. comedians. 
<laughs> who they like? They like they, they claim and stuff. Like man, nobody stole yeah, that yeah, from yeah. you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you ain't you didn't come up with that. Right, right. And then there that's there is original. a such thing as parallel thinking too. Yeah, when it comes to certain exactly. things, parallel so, thinking. Break that down. Break that down for the for 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 people who are not comedians. Parallel thinking is like you you got somebody in L A. and then somebody in New York. They come across the same topic and they tell it in the same yeah. way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's and they never seen each other. Never seen each other. Never seen each other. Right. And, and it's like, oh, you know, it's a coincidence. Yeah. This is how it is. Yeah. Because it's shared life experience. Yeah, shared life if, experience. If you, if you yeah. have children, or if you married, or if you you grow up in New York, or you live in New York, you're a comedian in New York. Ultimately, there's some shared experiences. Here's a shared experience right here. Back in the day, it was like a big '80s '90s topic. Everybody had roaches, or you know oh, yeah, about roaches. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, roach jokes. Go, everybody yeah. had. Yeah. Everybody had to go get a switch when you was a kid. Everybody right, had to get right, a switch. Right. Right. Everybody it, got a spanking. Exactly. I, exactly. I think I do. I do. I probably got one of the most unique spanking your, jokes. Your, yeah. 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 Let me say. Let me say the joke that <laughs> that, that 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 Tony doesn't tell that often. And I can't even. I can. Oh I can, no! I know you. Are you? Are you finna go there? I can't. I can't. I can't do it. On <laughs> Tony, Tony has a joke. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you the movie. I'm not gonna tell you the joke. I'm not gonna, 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 tell, you I'm gonna tell you the joke. But Tony does one of the most unique <laughs> things ever that I've ever seen a comedian do, and it's about a movie called Dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy, you, you gotta be that now. Now, Pastor, you do you remember Dummy, Pastor? I don't think I remember. Yeah, the movie. okay. It's, 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 a, it's a '70s movie. It's a '70s TV uh, movie. It's a made-for-TV movie starring Lavar Burton. And I think one of the one of the few one of the wow. early movies he did after he played was that after Kunta like, Kinte like or the, before the first thing he did following. Okay, Roots, okay. Oh, follow, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm yeah. saying that not like I got IMDb. Like right, Lavar right. Burton's on IMDb in front. Is it right before or right after? Roots? It's right after. I got right around that time. Right. Okay. And, and but Tony, but Tony, I saw the movie in the and if you seen Dummy. If you are, if you of a certain mm. age, if you you got to be at least forty eight exactly. to re, to even well, remember. Let, this. let me tell. Let me. Okay. No, don't, you I'm, cannot no, no, do. No, I'm not gonna tell the joke. No, no, I'm not gonna tell the joke. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it. A, uh, look, first of all, the movie's called Dummy. That's back be, before political correctness. Yeah. Because that title yeah, alone now will cause problems. Because oh, yeah. the reason they named. called the movie Dummy was it was based around Lavar yeah, Burton. Lavar Burton's character, he was uh deaf. They call it deaf and dumb. Deaf but he and was mute. hearing and speech impaired. Yeah, right. Exactly. So so he couldn't talk. And he could hear a little bit, but he couldn't talk. That's that's the that's that's right. the big thing. Right. Wow. That's what made my joke. What made my joke was the fact that he couldn't talk. He got locked up in prison. He can't. Okay. So to, I'm I'm not letting Tony go any no, further. No, 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 no. That's I, a I, lie. I'm not gonna ruin. I'm not gonna ruin. Not, but, but, but but put it but, like this: not being able to talk <laughs> and given the natures of prison, that's just a really bad handicap to have. Yeah. Because things happen to you, and, and you Tony, can't. and Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony you can tell me this joke when we go oh, off the As soon you. as we go off the air, <laughs> I'm going to ask Donna to leave the room. <laughs> I only did the joke when Akatunde was in the crowd because I can count on Ak. I'll be back there hollering. <laughs> like, but yeah. I'm a, I, first of all, I'm a, I, love, I love comedians, comedians. Right, yeah, so I yeah. so Tony is a comics comic, so <laughs> so when Tony did this the first time, I never I remember where we were, and he did it, and I was like, "Yo, is he doing a joke about a dummy?" First of all, that is such an obscure movie, and I was <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and I'm in the background when he started doing it, I was I'm like this, ah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it was at, it was at the comedy ah! house, I believe. I, I literally was not laughing like that. Oh, in the back, I'm like, who's in the back? I, I just started pouring it on. I was, oh my gosh, man, yeah, that's. It, it, I like doing stuff like that. Cause some things I do just for other comics, and I did some. I did a few things just for Ock. Yeah. But when you work, when you working with somebody cool, you know, good, your good brothers, yeah. your good homies. We tend to do yeah. stuff for each other sometimes. Yeah. That's how we are, this man. Is, yeah. I, so, I, said, yeah. I don't care if nobody else laughs. I know Ock gonna be back to die. I, I mean, it's and I and me when a good joke. I don't care how many times I see it. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to laugh at that joke I'm going to enjoy that joke Because I love a good joke yeah. And, and But yeah So yeah. I, yeah we can't But Tony cannot do this Yeah I can't I couldn't do that yeah. joke honey. And, yeah. and guess what If you did it today I remember the last time I saw you do it somewhere And i never forget Only about 20% of the room right. Even knew the joke But the right. people who knew it Yeah Was hollering Yeah I would have to set that up I mean set up a little more detail Because the premise of it Anybody can get it though At any age Oh yeah, It's all about it. the Yeah It's all about the handicap he had And then the situation he was in Yeah you, about to get, you, you ain't got to be about to get me uh, No no I'm not going to get you canceled No I ain't worried about getting canceled uh -oh. you can't, yeah. <laughs> 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 I get them letters from them You know Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get marching in <laughs> Hey I'm back <laughs> again We just lost uh 
three sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't do that to you, man. But no, so so, but hey, but I did. You know, like we we was playing around with. You know, of course that was Cat. I mean, that was Tony. Yeah. Uh, uh, calling this Cat Williams because yeah. Tony has a skill of sounding like other people. When did you know you could do that? Elementary school. Yeah, I was gonna say, you, you, you started that young. I used, I used to do that all the time, and I've been doing that for years. When we was kids, that, that was what we used to do. Why did you stop <laughs> doing impressions? Yeah. Oh yeah. Who, who, now, who did you used to do? I, Who'd you do? Who's your first? I, one? I, yeah. I, remember, I think I think about fifth grade, sixth grade. Uh -huh. I was doing. I was. I used to do Ronald Reagan all the time. Ronald ah, Reagan. that was one of my early ones. Yeah, go, wow. man. Yeah, I, that was going to go there. Go ahead. Dude, give me a Ronald. Give me a Ronald. Who knew this? Well, uh, you know this. <laughs> I'm out of jelly beans again. <laughs> what? Well, um, Pastor Tuck, I, I must say that's that's a very good, uh, very good me. Uh, and I also reference uh, jelly beans too. Everybody knew that I love jelly beans. Me and Nancy. And well. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah, that's that's that, that's true, man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Hilarious. So me and Tuck around the same age. That that right yeah, there, exactly the same age. Because yeah. that's who was in yeah, office. Yeah, yeah, that's who was in office. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a thing you have. Like I said, when I when I hear something, if I if somebody got a distinct voice and I hear it, I can do it. I'm gonna tell you what like it is. Said. Let me tell you what it is, Tuck. Um, um, it's an it's a uh, you you identify with pitches. You, yes. can, you identify with a pitch and you can duplicate it. Cause that's that I also played in the oh, band okay. too. I played trumpet. Okay. So yeah. not I only trumpet I, too. I, oh, see, that, that's what I'm okay. talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. That, we, yep. we gotta talk. We gotta talk even more. Find out we got yeah. the same so father you, and everything. But no, but, <laughs> <laughs> that's, but, no, but, no, but no, talk about talk about talk. You say you identify with pitches. Yeah, so what it is, mm -hmm. uh um um I can play, I can read music, but I can also play by ear too. Like and it, and that also translates into just being able to identify with Sounds, pitches, and you can duplicate it. Wow! So it's almost like um, put it like this: we're like um, we're like singers that mm -hmm. can't sing. Uh -huh. Like singers yep. can harmonize. They, right, they right, either, right, right. They, I'm not necessarily a harmonizer, but I can do a, a, a the pitch. I can catch that pitch and I and and duplicate wow. it. And that's what yep. it is. And you translate it into. And it's got to be a distinct voice, though. It can't just be. You know, uh, just, any just kind of voice. It's got to be, a, yeah, yeah. It's got, it's got to be yeah. very distinct. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Like, it's like it's like when Ox, Ox laugh, like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that's the hard laugh. <laughs> yeah. That's the hard laugh. That's the hard laugh. You hear, that's what he was doing in the back of the club when they did that joke about Dummy, the movie. <laughs> it, it, or, or, it or Clarence. On the floor. On the floor. Oh, oh. Oh. Now you can do this. So Tony, oh. so Tony had a Tony had a, a sketch CD, a tape. That was a tape. We on roll. It was a, it was an air check from when I used to be on a radio station. So you got to tell everybody what the air check is. So they, okay, okay. Air check is when you just a uh, recording of yourself of your uh, radio shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, your radio shift. Tell them what the shift is. Nobody knows. Okay, it was on Magic One One Jams, yeah. Memphis, Tennessee, back in the uh, mid nineties. Yeah, and uh, and we were doing uh, this back when uh, President Clinton was in office. And Clarence Thomas, Clarence the whole Thomas. Clarence Thomas being a Uncle Tom thing. They were they were on Clarence, right? Society was killing Clarence. <laughs> Clarence, Uncle Tom. So uh, we called uh, President Clinton to uh, talk to him about that. Say, you know, to get firsthand experience. Is he really Uncle Tom? So they said, let's call him. So they called, I'm like, hello, White House, White House. And they were like, uh, uh, can we speak to President Clinton? Hold on, please. <coughs> so I came on and said, oh, hello. Uh, this is... Um, What's his bail? <laughs> President Clinton, like, you know, what's this, all this uproar with Clarence Thomas? I mean, what do you, how do you feel about, you know, what they're saying about Clarence Thomas? You know, him being Uncle Tom or whatever. Well, uh, you know, uh, that whole thing is pretty unfortunate. And uh, him being the Uncle Tom, I'm not too sure about the whole Uncle Tom thing. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'll let Clarence, I'll let him uh, talk to you and tell you about it himself. I got him. Uh, hey, Clarence. Hey, Cl hey, boy, did you hear me? <laughs> I want you to get your tap dance yourself in there and talk to <laughs> uh, No, quit shining my shoes. L it, was, it was terrible. Man, <laughs> when, when I, listen, he, I, I, he, we, we must have played that. I, I, I probably said, I said, man, play that again. It, it was so funny. It was off the cuff. We were on tour. We, we were on we tour. Were doing creative tour. Creative and tour. Every time we stopped, or whatever, wherever we were, I would fall out the car. <laughs> play it again. This <laughs> is a tape. It. You got to play this. This is a tape. 
<laughs> yeah, it's right there. Stop right there. Cassette tape. Cassette they, they, tape. Uh, hey, rewind it. Rewind. You will never hear this again in your life. Hey, man, rewind. Rewind that. Rewind. That's all it kept. Hey, man, flip the tape on the other side. Flip the tape. <laughs> Man. Well, never. But I, but you know, it, but I think I think you know, it, bring comedy itself is a is a sport. It's an art form. Oh man, it is. It is. Yeah. It is to me one of the most purest art forms. It's it not is. the most purest art form. It, um. Uh. Yeah. You know. I, and I'm and I'm saying I say that you know that somebody might say that's self serving. I'm I mention that because with a comedy is just you a stool. In the mic. Yep, you're one man on the island, one man, one woman on the island. You don't have a band to back you up. You nope. don't have anything. It's just you right. and your material. Right. And it it it's uh it yeah man. This is like we're the last form of truce uh free speech. Yeah. I mean I know yeah. I know the whole cancellation thing. I I, I refuse to give in to that. Yeah. We could you could yeah we got a platform. Yeah. And I mean really it's it's yeah. So 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 when in terms of the whole thing, just kind of wrapping up in that because I'm we actually going I'm just going to record recording a segment with Tony, uh, that that'd be a part of our mics and stools podcast. Uh, right. So, but but the whole thing with Cat, do, do what do you see? Do, do you see that this is going to land? This is going to do you do you think there'll be some type of solidarity? I mean, because I kind of I kind of wonder like some, on some of I kind of wonder what's the end game for him on that. Um I think with the first of all, I will say with the timing of all the things he said too, it it it, it definitely uh, 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 increased his ticket sales. Oh yeah, because he had a tour coming up. He yeah. has a tour coming up. Yep. Yep. And um, what was it? He has a special he's going to do too. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he has a special on a tour. So that was a very timely, advantageous uh, yeah. as far as time interview because yeah. it's, it only increased. Uh, his ticket sales and viewing viewership yeah. on whatever platform his special was aired on. I'll also say too, it also increased the, every name he mentioned. It increased yeah. their ticket sales too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm sitting over there going like, man, I wish I was relevant enough to get <laughs> talked about bad. That way, when I do another show, no, yeah, but but no, for yeah, real. His, it was funny as uh, Mike Epps said. Mike Epps came out. He said, he said, cat. He said, man, you, cat, you could talk about me. He said, I, you know, I could use some of that bad publicity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, that, that, that's exactly what. I, yeah, case in point. Case in point. He's like, shoot, because you know, there's no bad pub for an entertainer, really. You know, well, I, I, well, there's some. Yeah, there's some. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, there's some. Something, there's yeah, something, but, some but you go yeah, to, yeah, yeah, but that in that case, though, you could, I don't know, but anyway, you can spin it. You I can, think you can work it. You I know. think it, it was definitely a shift. It was a shakeup. Uh, like I said, it exposed stuff because in that in that 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 interview was a combination of truth, mm-hmm. embellishments, mm-hmm. inaccuracies. Yeah, inac- yeah. Yeah, 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 and uh, yeah. and yeah, just and, and opinions. And, and it was opinionated. You said it perfect. Yeah, I, I was telling somebody that the other day. I said, "Cat is like an old black man in the barbershop." Yeah, I said, "What happens is over time the story grows. Yeah, over time your opinions become take, take over the facts. Yeah, and I said there's some things he just was embellishing. There's some stuff he was yeah. he was he was he was just be stretching. Some stuff was an outright lie. Like right, he said right, that right. Cedric only had didn't have a, any comedy special on Netflix. Yeah, I'm I was like, like yeah, I'm like, I just yeah, Cedric he said, got a he, he doesn't have not one special on Netflix or Tubi. And I'll say it again. Not one special on Netflix or Tubi. And then you cut on Netflix, there Cedric, Cedric is. Right there. You know, yeah. Right there. Probably probably yeah. the views are up on that thing. It's probably in the top ten now. Yeah. Because so many people probably went and searched it out. So when so when you make mistakes like that, you say stuff like that, it it, it brings into question everything else you say. Right, it does. It really does, man. And it really I, does. And I think a lot of people are afraid of of mentioning that. But but you know, I'll I'll say this. I told I told to another comedian who's a Christian comedian the other day, I said we need really need to pray for really everybody involved, but 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 uh, but seriously, I think pray for cat. Because I think when you when you when you're when you're when you're swinging like that, yeah. when you're hitting people like that, it's because something. It's not just truth. Like everybody's saying, oh, he's just telling the truth. Nah, it's, there's something there. Well, one one one. Uh, I don't know uh, all the facts around it, but Correct. some people said that those previous the people he mentioned they were on Shay Shay Club Shay Shay and they cat's name came out of their mouth negatively. I don't know. I didn't see it. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm. It's just it, overall, man. It just looks. It looks. Um, it looks bad. It it's looks negative. Bad. It looks bad, it's man. Negative. You know, you think we because there's discourse amongst entertainers. Period. Yeah, Comedians. Yeah. Well. People think. They, a lot of people are shocked. They don't know about comedy. On people on the outside, they say, "Oh, they. Oh, I didn't do it in comedy. Why comedians act like that? We're yeah. not just jokes." Yeah, we're people, just, people, people we have, have personalities. Yeah, we, have, yeah, we got issues, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. discourse, and we're not just laughing all the time. Right. Matter of fact, as a matter of fact. 
oftentimes in a room or theater or, or whatever that's full of people laughing, yeah. we're the most we're the ones in pain the most. Yeah, yeah. We got the we're the darkest people in the room yeah, half the time. Yeah. Not all of us. I'm just saying. You know, there's, but but you know, um, comedy is a, is a way oftentimes to to act out or to get your it's your our release your pain out. Yeah, you know, it is so, but, uh, therapy. But, but really, I think you know, really, I, I think people should really be praying for that brother. Yeah, yeah. He definitely got some pain somewhere. There's there. trauma there. There's yeah. some trauma there, and yeah. and even if it was trauma caused by someone else or even those people, yeah. still for it to play out in a public place like yeah. that is is traumatic, and that tells me something else is going on. There's some layers that it's not being dealt with. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the, yeah. You know, Just so. uh, that was kind of a therapy session right there, really. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. He all he had to do was lay back on the seat on the couch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And let you know let let Club Shay Shay talk to him. So 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 that. <laughs> um, let me ask, oh no! Uh, I gotta take another. Let me get another. Let me get a, let me drink another. Another some of this yak. Uh, 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 Hilarious. Let me ask you this question. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, and I and I and I, I agree. You know, from a from a believer's perspective, like I say, you ought to you ought to pray for folk like that. Yeah. But let's say what he says is true mm-hmm. about some of these some of these guys. Mm-hmm. They and, and they and they basically them big footed them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You, you know, you big time now. You know, you are. You know, you superstar now, and basically you done you done big footed Tony Tone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you dogging him out. You know what I'm saying? He's done, it. He's done like, that. He's done that before. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I recognize. I recognize. You know that's why. I, that's why I was kind of using it as an example. Yeah, I, you know you, I, I appreciate that too, Pat. So, Don't you try? Don't you try? As example. Don't you try? And so now, and so now, you know, what I'm saying you 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 talk about him like he ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? You act like you you know like he ain't nothing. I've heard it. And try to dismiss him. <laughs> and so now, like you so you come on these platforms and you try to act like oh I, I'm 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 nice to everybody, but you really treat him like nothing. And now he gonna get it, gonna get his five minutes, and he gonna tell it like it is. Is he really wrong for standing up for himself? Here's the, here's the whole thing. First, first of all, like I told somebody the other day, I said those are millionaire problems. Yeah, I was telling somebody yeah. uh, some years ago was uh, some uh, 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 I was somebody was bragging of uh, no, it was it was uh, upset about something, and I said, man, do, do you realize that you're talking to people? You're talking about people. I said we go around and tell jokes to people. Mm-hmm. For a living, and mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. pay us large sums of money. Mm-hmm. I said, mm-hmm. first of all, you, you, I said, you I said no, 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 Tony, oh, Tony, yeah, Tony, okay. Tony, whatever. Okay. Large <laughs> sums of money, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I said, you understand how unique of a existence that is, right? Yeah. And how much of a mm-hmm. blessing that is, right? Yeah. So the beef we yeah. got with somebody, it ain't like somebody who going to work every day on a job they hate. Even if you don't like your station in life. So I, right. I still like to say, Cat Williams sells fifteen thousand tickets yeah. on the tour oh, yeah. per night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Per, oh, yeah, we, we, nine, we, ten. We definitely talking first world problems. Yeah. I mean, you know, you not even just no. Hold up, not even just first world problems. problems. She, uh, everybody living, everybody in a stone store where I live, right where I'm st- sitting yeah. right now, got first world problems. Yeah, 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 they got yeah. internet. They probably got some yeah. type of central eating hair, and they, they got yeah. running water and a toilet in their house. That's first world problem. Because because yeah. you five percent of problems. Okay, I got you. Is that, I, 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 I'm feeling. You. But but watch. But here's it again. Cat Williams sells. 10, 15,000 yeah. seats. Yeah. He's selling out arenas. He the does. people, a lot of the people who he talk about don't even sell arenas like that. Right. So, so I'm like, dude, yeah, maybe if, if, if it is a situation where you feel like somebody big foot at you, you know, it, it, which I don't even see how that could even be the case because they, you, you know, some, you know, it's, it'd be like me being upset because Tony can do, t- can do impressions and I, I can't or can only do a, a couple. Right, I, it'd be like me be upset with and hating him. No, he that's a gear that I don't have that he has, and that's okay because because we do different stuff, and that's fine. So I so I sell it to say I don't. I just think that it's I, to me it's unnecessary. To me it's it's not a no. it's not a good look for comedy, Kat, and it's not a good look for black people. Right, right. Cat did mention some aspects of Hollywood that are that definitely true. Though. That part outside was true. of the yeah. outside of that the entertainers. Part. Yeah, that I mean, part. Yeah. He, he might have that included part. them in on some of those aspects, but that yeah. the aspects of Hollywood is yeah. Oh, that, yeah. he told the truth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah, that's the oh, that's yeah. that's the filthy, dirty truth. Yeah, it's yeah, it's dirty out there. Yeah. No, I, no, I was I, like I said. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I, I like I said. I'm just talking about the things like I said when 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 you start talking about the way that some people are perceived as as heroes and right. and people that you know are so benevolent and everything else. And then if you ask a hundred different people about them that really know them for real, they tell you they trash. Yeah, he, I, you he, know what? I, also, too. Um, um, now, Cat was telling us um, he was. Based off his experience with those people as yeah. well, yeah. and some of it, be, us being in the same game, some yeah. of it is tr- true. Yeah, 
Exactly. You know? And so that and that's and that's what and that's what I'm saying. When I say, yeah. you know, is he that wrong if he, what he's telling you is he's actually telling us his truth. truth. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm not, and I'm not saying it's just his truth. I'm just saying yeah. if that's an actual truth about somebody who's actually and, and, and I'm not and, and, and I don't want to disparage the man because I don't I don't, I've never met him myself. But there's a lot of people who say Michael Jordan is actually a butt in real yeah, life. Yeah, I've heard that too. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a and, that, yeah. and that's from a lot of his contemporaries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But a lot of people deify him because he's Michael Jordan. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, and, right. And, and and I'm just saying, so if somebody came out here and actually told you Michael Jordan is a butt because they had an interaction with him, are they actually wrong because they actually telling the truth? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I think it's twofold. I think there's I in myself having been able having the blessing to, to be to be around a lot of people in different stations in life in different yeah. in different mm-hmm. jobs different businesses different categories what you what you a lot of times see is you see the different variations of that person and you see that person in different scenarios yeah. so you this person may have this a, this opinion of that person but you know that person in another way yeah and you realize yeah that's that's not really true what they say or oh, it may be a part a partial truth but that's not the total story so i you know i don't i don't know all of the, all the details of these different personalities these different beefs or what people would have done the truth of the matter is a lot of the stuff he said in the video was true yeah, some a lot of this stuff like like whether I'm not I'm not even just talking about the whole Hollywood stuff, but mm-hmm. I'm talking about stuff that you know yeah. about people that you yeah yeah, yeah that's true. I yeah. mean I I I've seen some of that stuff be, being in, in the business. You see different things, but then some of it's like yeah, but it's not like that. Also, it's true or yeah. whether or not you had to say it or not. Well, yeah, I feel like the if the numbers um are overwhelmingly like 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 you use Jordan, I think uh. Mm-hmm. The majority of people are like that's no coincidence if if the majority of people yeah say that about yeah, him you know what I'm saying yeah. yeah give that impression and 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 he might have a reason behind why he's like that you know what I'm saying I'm sure he, I don't know everybody have different reasons but uh, uh uh like I'm that guy who like I've been around a lot pretty much all the comedians and ever and, and there yeah. people be like yo man he's such a this and that like, yeah uh, I'm gonna say that my boy Chris remember Chris Charles yeah 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 a yeah, lot Chris of comedians Charles, had yeah. nothing but negativity yeah. around to say about Chris but I yeah. my experience with Chris was cool yeah. he was always cool mm-hmm. yeah. so I yeah. tend to get along with pretty much any and every you got to be pretty bad for me to have beef with you yeah so exactly. so yeah I've always gotten along with a lot of the people that people um talk badly about and then there are a couple a few of them is like yeah yeah I gotta agree. That person's character is in question because I've seen how they treat people overall. Well, and I think sometimes yeah. too, it's sometimes it's, it's, it's in, and I agree with what you're saying there. I, I think another a part of that is sometimes a person's personality may be drawn out by certain people. Let me yeah, say that yeah, again. Yeah. Certain elements of a person's personality yeah. is drawn out by certain people. Yeah. So I know I use Steve Harvey as an example. I've, I've, I've heard people complain about Steve and say this yeah. about Steve. And, I, and I, I, I tell people, I say one of the first times as a young comic, I got the first time, not one of, the first time I got a chance to perform in front of an all black audience, I went up to the radio station and sat outside for an hour and a half and then went uh, then and then kind of kind of finagled my way past the front desk and then went up to the control room and asked Steve if I could open up for him that night. And he let you because you had the same kind of blazer he had on. <laughs> yeah. He had yeah, 25 yeah. buttons on one side. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hockey <laughs> tune day. Yeah. You, you can open for me, innit? You know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Anybody wear the same amount of buttons on their jacket? <laughs> like I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Melvin. <laughs> hey, yeah. I don't know no hockey tune day, but That's, Melvin Reynolds. Uh, <laughs> you, you come on. <laughs> yeah. I, and I tell you exactly what he said. That, that's hilarious. He 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 looked at me. He said he said uh, he said you want to open for Steve Harvey. I said yeah. And then he said uh, he said he said he said all right, young blood. He said be at the club seven thirty. And and I and I got there at seven thirty. And I never forget the 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 club owner and which is Arby Pippen as well as the hey, Hulk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the manager Kelly, remember Kelly? Kelly, remember yeah, Kelly, the manager yeah. at, the, at the comedy club in, uh, in Savannah. Yeah, and uh, he was like, they were like, I, I came in like, oh, he said, no, oh, Kelly. First, as soon as he saw me, oh, uh, 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 oh, now you know I can't let you in free on special events. Now. Mm-hmm. I said, no, no, I said I'm opening up for Steve. Like, oh no, yeah, you you can't open up for Steve. And then Boomerang, yep, Boomerang, Boomerang was in the back, and Boomerang stepped up front. He said, he said, oh yeah, he good. Come on, that's back. his footsteps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
he can come and, in. And, 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 and Melvin <laughs> in. And Melvin in. Yeah. Melvin's all yeah, right. Come on in, Melvin. That's Black Thanos. I would get a t shirt with Melvin Reynolds on. <laughs> yeah, Melvin Reynolds. <laughs> <I'm> like, what? <laughs> like, what is that? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had to be there. <laughs> but 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 that was my first time. So I so I, when I hear people say, you know, well, Steve ain't this and Steve didn't do that, and that may have been your experience. I'm just saying, yeah. mine was it. Yeah, and, yeah, I, yeah. And, and so yeah. so and I think so, again, whether that's the favor of God that's on my life, or whether yeah. that is uh, maybe I knew how to respectfully act. People have different experiences with different people. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. It's just people. Cat was just telling his his truth and his yeah, experience. His truth. You know, off of, yeah, 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 yeah. His truth yeah. is a y'all. Law, well, listen. Well, speaking, about- speak, speaking of beef, though, I, yeah. I got some beef with Tony Tone. Uh oh. Uh oh. We, 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 we got we got to deal with it. Come on, bring it out. No, now. We, we come back. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Don on, we and we're gonna we're gonna wrap up the show. This is our last Ox show live on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings. Wow. Uh, we 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 wow. will be doing some 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 lives some special event lives, and uh, but we got some major some opportunities that's now at hand, awesome. and uh, awesome. we will be focused on focused on that. And uh, so again, it's not farewell by any stretch of the words. It's not a cancellation for show sure not, and it's definitely not anything negative. Any negative reasons why we leaving? It's simply that we are uh, shifting things to make room for more. So I'm gonna bring down on the screen, and then the four of us gonna close it out. We ha- we've had a ball these past. Uh, 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 what well now? Shoot, uh, four years doing live shows on Clubhouse, <laughs> or on Facebook, <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> that's that background music, and Don. That's what Don is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need y'all to pray for Tony Tone. <laughs> Put hands together for Donna J. <laughs> <laughs> We come back, y'all. It's the last show, the last live show, and uh, we closing it out. We thank y'all. Clubhouse, shout out to Clubhouse. We love y'all. What we up, Clubhouse? Y'all. I see the te- I see the tear the, the tear emoji, uh, 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 Leslie. But get, I told y'all, I told y'all, we got some ways for the Oxio family to remain in the new version of the show. Don't y'all move, y'all. This is Locking Tune. This show. Are you under age sixty five and still need health insurance? Now is the time, and we can help. We are being short for life. And we assist people like you to get health insurance now. Individuals, families, self-employed, early retirees, gig workers, even 1099 filers. Or, you lost your job? No problem, our full suite of health life and supplemental plans fit every need. Some subsidized plans even have a zero monthly premium. What is your need? Call Be Insured for Life today at 866-357-0777. Or visit our website at beinsuredforlife.net. We are open all year. One of the best stories that I have in satisfying one of our clients happened just recently. Uh, we had a young lady that was doing did a family reunion for, and then they came back and placed a reorder. Now, when they placed the reorder, we could not get everything done in time. Well, we had to pull a lot of strings, make some things happen, work a little bit late, but it worked out where we were able to get the t-shirts printed and out for delivery. That's the things that we do for our clients, and we want to do that for you as well. It's easy to become frustrated when ordering branded products and apparel, but PNB Promotionals is here to help ease those frustrations with their over 800,000 promotional products and apparel. Whether screen printed t shirts, embroidered polo shirts, stadium cups, umbrellas, or mugs, PNB Promotionals has just what you need. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. That's pbpromotionals.com. Or send an email to info at pbpromotionals.net. Info at pbpromotionals.net. Imprinting the best for less. P and B Promotionals. At my church, we help people get better by teaching them how the word works. And we want to make sure there is no excuse not to get the word. It's our goal to make all of our ministries accessible on every smartphone, tablet, PC, and television connected to the internet. So whether you're a man who needs some wisdom, a woman who needs some encouragement, or a couple who needs guidance, the My Church channel has just what you need. Simply search for the My Church channel on Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV, or visit MyChurchChannel.org. You can also download the My Church On The Go app from Apple, or Google Play App Store. 
constantly on the move? Check out the Word at My Church podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Or simply download the Word at My Church skill on your Alexa-enabled device. But whatever you do, make sure to stay connected. See you soon. It's the Ock and Tune Day Show. Say what? Say what? You heard what I said? That's right, y'all. The, the, the Ock and Tune Day Show. Smell it. A-K-I-N, uh, 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 Tune Day. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Give it to him, Ock. It's the last no. Ock Show live. Yeah. It's Come the on. last Ock Show live. Uh, last uh-huh. show. It's the last, last Ock show. show live. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Tony Tone Flash with the freestyle, me and Tony Tone, we go back 30 years, tears and fears, used to have a whole lot of shows together, used to go always go on the road, crack, cracking them up from show to show, show to show, city to city, uh. town to town, yep. on this come in, uh-huh. and we break them down, with yeah. this laughter, they laughing over, they laughing and stuff, then they funny and they funny and I'm rough and rough, and uh. I lost the yeah. flow, I should have uh. stopped a long time ago, Pass. that's okay, it's the last show, go, last uh, yeah. last show, but yeah. we'll be back yeah. again, yeah. pre-recorded show, we calling you my friend Hi, Donna J is here She came through She did it uh, Producing our show yeah. She always was with it Come on Suck her own live Live and stuff From uh, Virginia Y'all Yo we rugged and rough Yo, yo we still yo. really going nowhere Tony yo. Tone take uh. it Tony Tone take it Tony Tone take it Yo Ock Make some room in this booth Cause you can tell nothing but the truth uh, Yes I'm, I'm sitting on the stool I got Donna J to my right Uh Pass uh-huh. it up He's alright uh, the last show, no, not uh-huh. the last show, but the first show. Uh-huh. Uh, the yeah. first show starting out, gonna pre-record yeah. Yeah. just like we do. Yeah. Uh, check it out, y'all. I'm bringing this to you. Yes. Uh, uh-huh. Early uh-huh. in the morning, on into the noon, from yeah. the noon to the night. Uh, uh, it's all about night. night. Uh, <laughs> uh, gotta bring it out right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh- all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yes. Yes. Not one, not two, not five, but six. Yes. Check it out, y'all. Pass us up. Bring me a brick. Oh no! We gotta go. The worst freestyle. We gotta go. Oh no, we gotta go. Y'all should, y'all should go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. You Stop should time. always end all your segments with the worst freestyle session <laughs> ever. That's how you end it all. We are gonna end it with the worst freestyle. The worst. The worst, the worst freestyle ever. By far. By far. The worst freestyle. The worst session. cipher you ever want to hear. Oh <laughs> Melvin Reynolds in the grown man cipher. Yeah. Melvin Reynolds. In- yeah. <laughs> That's our old Motown man. <laughs> I know somebody like who is Melvin Reynolds? Like, don't worry. Melvin Reynolds, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Somebody gonna walk up to me. I can I know this is somebody either at church or at, in the street. <laughs> Melvin Reynolds, I'm out. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm making you a t shirt. I can tune the AKA Melvin Reynolds. <laughs> that way you know they listen to the show. You gonna be at church. We got Brother Reynolds and his family <laughs> in the building. They used to be the Warnocks, now they're the Reynolds. The Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all <laughs> listen. This this is the last Ox Show live, oh. and uh, uh, you know, li- literally, this will be. Uh, I'm gonna miss this. I really, I really have yeah. enjoyed the the, the the genuine live interaction. Man, I have mm-hmm. enjoyed being. I'm. Mm-hmm. I, it's my pleasure to be a part of the last one, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah legendary, awesome, y'all. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I appreciate y'all. Legends right here, legends. Oh, right wow, here. Putting so, it out there, legends right here. Donna is so generous appreciate and yeah. loving. I want to yeah. thank Donna personally yeah. for. Yeah. for 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 uh, putting up with me and supporting the show and 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 and, and keeping me on track. Hey, I uh, can see. I just want to say, uh, Donna has always been my favorite. <laughs> uh, that's right. uh, Thank Donna, you, Fred. Thank uh, you, Fred. Uh, hey, no problem, Donna. Uh, maybe uh, you and I can sit down somewhere after the show and um, have a little sham sham pipple. Uh, that's champagne and ripple. <laughs> Oh, Fred! <laughs> and would I be sure? Be sure. <laughs> you gotta be, you, you gotta be you an old school Sam fan. Yeah. Fred. I mean, and of course, Pastor Tuck coming from Virginia, bringing with the word, the yes. word and the and the, and the, uh, and from from time to time, some yeah. nonsense. Um, <laughs> 
some some hey. some 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 straight up John Brown, John Dallas Brown. Cowboys nonsense. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now, now, hold on, now. Uh, <laughs> you talking um, about? Hold on, this is two of the biggest Dallas Cowboys fans I yeah. know. These two right here on uh, the screen right now. That's right, and uh, this is Jerry Jones, and I uh, just want to say, uh, <laughs> Pastor Tuck, if you want to come out to the game uh, this coming Sunday against uh, the Packers, uh, I got some tickets for you. Uh, you and uh, Tony Tone. Uh, <laughs> You guys can sit in my box with me, and we'll root my cowboys on, old Dak and uh, Paul and all of them out there. Uh, <laughs> sit on and watch and watch the cowboys lose. That's well, a hoop, hoop. Now, now that you know what, I'm gonna call your sponsors and have them all canceled uh, just for that comment. <laughs> oh my God! But it's been a, it's been a wonderful journey. Uh, I I just got my first text. Uh, shout out to Marvin Jones. <laughs> we talking about Melvin Reynolds. Mel- <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Yes, he said that. Yes, to my funny show, <laughs> Melvin Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> you, Hilarious. Uh, AKA Melvin Reynolds. Melvin, Melvin Reynolds. Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and my mama, my mama, Cheryl Warnock, does not like when anybody mess with, mess with my name. So you I'm going to Cheryl? Cheryl. And, and, uh, oh, oh! <laughs> I got it. Shell. Oh, it's on. You know how many years? <laughs> Which camera is hot? Which, <laughs> give me a hot camera. Do you know how many years we've been trying to find? See, I learned the name of my mother's name, Sean Jones' mother's name, and our good friend, uh, rest in peace, Spanky Brown. Brown's mother's name. <laughs> but we never knew Ox's mother's name. Now we know. Now we know. <laughs> May may uh, Spanky because. may Spanky visit you tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know you know Spanky gonna be. Man, I'm gonna tell Sean. I gotta text Sean. Oh <laughs> Shell. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You ain't you ain't even saying it right. So you still don't know it. Shell <laughs> is close enough. I'm close. <laughs> Michelle, Rochelle. We be cutting up. We Seashell. Be, we love talking about each other, Mama. Yeah, let me tell you this dirty joke. Did he gonna put his put me on speakerphone one time? I, Cause I would call him. I said, I said, hey man. I said, look here. I said, do me a favor. I said, go on your mama. Room, look in the, look, look in the closet. Look on the floor in the closet. I see I left my boots there. Can you bring them with me with you to the show? Like, could you please bring my boots with you to the show? It'd it, it be hilarious too. He'd be talking. He'd be sounding dead serious. Yo, Tony, Tony, you got a minute, man? I'd be like, oh man, that's messed up. That's my. Me- hey, uh, and one time he, he, he ca- I called him. He was right by his mom. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, she said, see, ma, I uh-huh. told you to talk about. This. I said, oh, you <laughs> Hey, she cornered him in our kitchen. He came to visit. He came to visit one time. We called him in the kitchen. That's right, boy. That's right. Oh, Wait, talk. Reach out to this shell. Oh my God, <laughs> that's funny. That's Yo, funny. listen. It, we, when I tell you, we have thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. This is yeah. the last show. Oh we, about, we, we about to get off. We we, we twenty five minutes over. You just ain't text me yet, so I guess you let me allow uh-huh. us to go long because you know it's the last one. She could, you got company. The last live. You got company. The last, last live. live show. Last it's live. not the last one because no. they're gonna be thinking that this is it. No, no, this no. is not it. No, yeah. she's calling me now. I mean, uh, so, so, you know, so. <laughs> okay, that's my official sign. Yeah, to, that's it. To end the sign off. The, so, the wifey has spoken. She has, she has called, and uh, if, and I'm sure if Clubhouse is now. Uh, uh, what do they call it? When uh, Clubhouse? No, we, can, we can hear you. We can hear you still. Okay. 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 Good. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. You went, you went cool. mute for a second right, when she so called, yeah. but it's all right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Don and Pastor Tuck give their their final thoughts for the live. Again, to be clear, the I can tune this show is not ending. No. I can tune this show. Yeah, just give them be- give them the email address again. I, if you yes. want to be a part of the of the of the uh, con- contribution team, I like that the contribution team. Okay, so you'll be mm-hmm. an Ox Show contributor. Yeah, I like yes. that. So let me let me let me spell it out again. Shout out to Pastor, to Pastor Tuck for the, for this idea. It was totally his idea. And what it is is we it allows people. We were having a production meeting the other day and talking about this last show. And and what it allows people to still offer opinions and their thoughts uh, the same way you normally would in comments or live. You can do that by sending us a pre recorded video. It's something simple that you record with your cell phone. Mm-hmm. And and so if you want to be an Ox Show contributor and we and we give you a topic. Hey, and, and next week we're gonna be. To, you know, recording a show talking about this particular topic, and then you can say, "Oh, okay, here's my thoughts on that particular topic." Like Cat Williams, you could say, "Hey, well, this is yeah. what I thought about the video or the or the, the, the interview," and you just turn your phone landscape like this. Right, borrow your phone, Tony. Yeah, yeah. You turn your phone landscape and you record yourself. 
mm-hmm. whether you do in your home or or at work, wherever you are outside, and you record your your video, you send it to us, you email it to us. So if you want to be one of the Ox Show contributors, send your send us an email at info at the assignment agency dot com. That's info at the assignment agency dot com. Info at the T H E assignment A S S I G N M E N T dot com agency dot com agency a g e n c y dot com. So and in the it. words of uh, Teddy Riley, it's not over. It's not. It there, ain't there, over. there we go. There That's we go. Right. Party's not over. <laughs> <laughs> not over at all we will be we'll be doing producing some new content again i will announce our newest program that will be out in february i'll announce that next week so the only reason i can't announce it because it's a other big player that's involved and i can't mention, say that without them you know uh, uh, uh giving us a go ahead with that but this is this is going to be an, uh, a major extension of the show it just won't be live that's all yeah so, that's cool pre-record yeah. is good yeah, yeah. pastor uh, tuck and donna final thoughts mm-hmm. y'all Go ahead, Pastor Tuck. Well, like I said, it's, it's been a it's been a great 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 run here, and like I said, we're we're looking forward to the next season of this. Yeah, like I said, but just like Ox said, make sure you get your name on that email list. We'll yeah. send out emails, like I said, prior to the shows, telling what the topics are. Unknown caller. Those talking about your videos. Laughing at y'all, joking y'all, just just the same way we would y'all in the comments. But yeah. like I said, just making you a part of the experience. But like I said, this this clubhouse family, like I said, the Facebook family, the YouTube family, like I said, all of the families that we put together, the my church family. Yeah. Like I said, just having you all take this ride with us has been awesome. Like I said, you know, having Jason as a part of this team, like I said, it's just been it's just been absolutely phenomenal. This yeah. has been great. Uh, ministry has been great for us to be able to have a way to shape culture. Yeah. And like I said, this, what, what we're doing, like I said, this, we're just taking this to a whole nother level. You know, we I know one of the things that we, we talked about even post production, I mean, in the pre-production talking about on the show was talking about the shifts we're making this year. Yeah. And yeah. I know I, I kind of alluded to it in the, uh, uh, the little pre video we mm-hmm. did, of the other day with you and I, but I hadn't actually exposed it to, to, to the entire uh, clubhouse and mm-hmm. Facebook audience. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I'm even um, relocating. I'm, I'm yeah. relocating, like I said, yeah. uh, to North Carolina. Yeah, sure. I'll be moving about 30 miles northwest of Charlotte, which will put me about an hour and a half from the studio yeah. mm-hmm. so that I'll be yeah. able to get in studio and yeah. do a lot more stuff because God, God is called, us and our ministry, like I said, yeah. Ock and Tune and I met almost 10 years ago, be 10 years in May. Yeah. And like I said, and we didn't know what God was doing with all of this, but he's been shifting and God's been showing me stuff all, all throughout this, this process through this relationship. Yeah. And I recognize how important the church is in media arts and entertainment. Yeah. And, and like mm-hmm. I said, and yeah. God has given me a commitment to shifting the landscape of media arts and entertainment. And so our ministry, like with the My Church channel and the things that we're doing and, and my involvement in it, I take very seriously. And like I said, and so, and this is a part of that. And so we're excited about the things that God's doing and the, yeah. and the, and the partnerships and the collaborations that we're going to be doing. And so just to let you know, like I said, we're not going anywhere. You nope. can see much more, more of us in the things that we're doing. And like I said, we, we enjoy being able to bring ministry in, in brand new, innovative ways. Yeah. Yeah, one of, you mentioned something key is, and I'm coming to you, Donna. One of the keys thing you mentioned is, is we'll be doing more. This uh, not doing the live show on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, will allow us to do more. So that's the whole reason. Donna, final thoughts, sis. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Donna J. <laughs> oh my god, um, I have enjoyed Jesus. this. I've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed this reaching out. I've enjoyed everything. But I just want to say, you know, it has been such a learning experience. Um, not only um, have I, it, it's broadened my mind and my scope of, 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 of life because, you know, at being my age, you know, and y'all know my age by now, um, it has opened 21. up the doors for me to say, you know, you don't have to stop one career uh, and then you retire, you're done. Right. You can go on. And it has, you know, for, for personally, it has opened up a whole new perspective for me. Right. I'm excited. Transition is something that is constant, hopefully. 
and that it, it is something that we do have to um, adjust to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we need to make this transition in order to be bigger, yeah. better, greater for the for the kingdom evolution you know, it does have to happen yeah. and so and even in our in our personal lives old things have to die to make a way for new things yeah so this is transitioning into something that's going to be uh phenomenal yeah and it's going to all be led by god and i that's what i am excited about to see where he is going to take this yeah because who knew who knew when um, Ak was late at the airport and I had to get him on the flight? <laughs> who knew what, this was, wow. what that was going to turn right, into? Right. Who knew? You know, who knew? Who knew? Was Donna gonna held the into. door for me. Yep. Donna held the door for me. You, me, Eunice, and I were coming times. through security. Yeah, a few times. But that particular time, <laughs> it was, she held the door for me. I was like, man, I, said, I, I, I just knew we was going to have to catch another flight. Mm-hmm. And Donna held the door and she was like, come on, come on, come on. I was, I was like, oh, shoot, let's run. I and, ran down there to yeah, security. Yeah. Come on. Uh, you know, and, you know uh, who, who knew that who knew? What that would lead, lead to? So, In a world of broadcast, <laughs> out with the old and in with the new. <laughs> I wish I had the a brand new. Like Akin Tunde Show. Tunde Show. Starring <laughs> Melvin Reynolds, <laughs> Pastor Tuck, <laughs> Donna J, <laughs> and a host of different guests. <laughs> and special guest, Tony Tone. The bruh. Thanks for coming through. Hey, thanks for having me, man. Jason, shout out to Jason Earls. A Jason. huge, yes, sir. A no. huge shout out. Shout out to Jaleel, to Jaleel, and Tristan yeah. back there Damn. holding it down each and every. They, they don't have their mic. They don't have their mics back there right now. But, uh, but shout out to them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jaleel, come out here. Come out here, Jaleel. Let everybody see you. Um, come, uh, come on, come on. Jaleel make me oh, make me feel old. Remember I, when yeah, I first met y'all. Like Jaleel, Jaleel was, yeah, he's a little kid. Like, yeah, like three, three or four. Three or four. Yeah, three or four. Yeah. Now look at him, man. Thirty-four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right, right. <laughs> Go ahead, Julio. So, so give, give the. Come on. You should comments on. You know, you got ducked down so you get in the camera. Yeah. Oh, you gonna, right here. You gonna okay. choke your daddy. Yeah. 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 Talk about big daddy. Talk about you, big daddy. Hello. Can y'all hear me? You can hear you. Yes, sir. Big daddy. Yeah. What, what, what was your question? I said. I said. You know, the final thoughts. You know. You, you know. Which. You know. It's the, it's the last live show. Final thoughts. Well, shoot. It's not goodbye. No. It's no. not even really a hello. It's more of a I'll see you I'll see you on the next show, pre recorded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll see you on the occasional live events. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Please find us on everything else you can possibly find us on. Right. Not lose contact. Right. right. It's been fun working on this. I will genuinely miss the live consistent engagement. But hey, it's not like we won't be doing that. So mm-hmm. we'll see you again soon. I I appreciate everybody who's watched and come to enjoy the show and honestly just thank you. Thank you so much for being here and watching us grow and get better and better and expand and evolve. And we've been through a lot of permutations. See, see, like way back when I finished college, this was a grown man podcast. Yeah, my dad. It was just me and dad. Yep, working for my app off a of phone. Yep, oh. through Facebook. Yep, a phone, a, a old iPhone too, yep. with a TV in the background with my laptop connected to it. <laughs> <laughs> grown man yep. podcast. Grown now man we podcast. are here. Wow. I can tune this show in a yeah. studio space that I couldn't have even possibly have imagined. And uh, mm-hmm. it's, wow. been a, it's been a heck of a Growth. journey. Yeah. I, I'm excited to see what's next. Yes. Excited. My God. God is faithful. Yeah. Well done, son. Well, you know, well great done, job. Well done, Jaleel. Yes. Great job. Yes. Yes. Well done. Great job. Good work. Mm-hmm. Way to be stretched. Way to grow. Way to way to, to come out and, and uh, put your, your what you learned in school to 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 work and even to learn more. So congratulations, and I'm excited about your future, not just with this company. Amen. Amen. Right. My God, well done. Trishan is in the back. Um, uh, 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 Trishan, come out, come out and say. Uh, I didn't uh, realize it was you. Yeah, <laughs> wow. come out, Trishan, and say a quick uh, uh, a quick goodbye to everybody for the live version. Again, we, just, we again, y'all, we're not we're not, we're not the, the show is not canceled. Yeah, right. Just right. say just a live version. Mm-hmm. Say say what's up, Tristan. Uh, hey everyone, uh, as you know, I'm Tristan. Um, working here was amazing. It still is amazing, and I'm sad. Yes, that the live show is going, but. Now we get to pre-record it, and it yeah. should be even better. Yeah. Yes. You're getting better content, even though you don't get to react to it live. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They can still react to it, just not. Yeah. It's not you live. just don't know it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Trish, Trishan is Trishan is, is 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 one of my surrogate sons. He's a he's a a a a, 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 a true son because I, I I I correct him. I tell him the truth. Right. Yeah, I, keep, I keep it real with him. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's been growing, getting better. He is growing and yeah. um and learning more. So I'm excited that you were part of this journey, buddy. Mm-hmm. He's good. Yes, All right. All right, man. Yeah, all right. Trisha, you, you got a right to be called Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna leave it alone, Pastor Chuck, but you keep it going. Keep it going. Keep the party going. Yeah, somebody go, boy, that's this dog. See, see, I, I, see, I know I still start. So Melvin Reynolds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Gene Melvin Singleton Stewart. Uh, uh, you, sound uh, like a, you sound like a shade tree mechanic. It, it really does. They Melvin Reynolds. Melvin, oh. what, what's, seen, what's wrong with the <laughs> Somebody call you like, you know, Melvin Reynolds died. <laughs> what? <laughs> the gas, the gas. Melvin died. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know he was sick. He been sick for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Dean Singleton the Stewart sent me a nice text. She said, "You carried us through the pandemic and kept us joy. Totally grateful for the laughs. Thank you, oh, Sister Jean. Nice. And uh, uh, of, of course, uh, Jean, her grandson was one of our interns for the summer. Jean supports, as many of you do, first Sundays and packs the house. So thank you, my sister. And who and and, and, and again, that Jean and Kimberly Jean and Ashley. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Jean yeah, and, and, and you know, in and, and Marvin and and Paul and Celeste and, and Leon Campbell, Leon, unofficial security, right? <laughs> of <laughs> on Clubhouse, you know, uh, and, uh, uh, who am I? I'm, I'm 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 leaving out a whole bunch of people. I really probably shouldn't even start doing shout outs because I'm gonna get right. in trouble. I'll leave somebody out, but I will say this: it has been, you know, no matter who it is, Leslie, yeah. uh, uh, even my uh, Corey Facebook, Free. Corey Free, Corey yeah. Free. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Tory Free, Corey Coleman. Yeah, mm-hmm. Corey Coleman. Uh-huh. You know, but Donna, could you read some of the comments off of Facebook if they are any? And, and, and I just want to say too, uh, my sister Pinky and my Pinky. sister Janet, Pinky and, and Janet. my cousin Lena. Yes, yes, thank you, thank yes, you. Yes. Um, Demon Cherry said, "I just got back on y'all not coming back. Oh, Demond. we'll be back. We'll be back, we'll, we'll Demon. Yeah, we, we again, uh-huh. y'all. We'll be here. Marvin just left. pre-produce uh-huh. to be clear. Demond, he said, Demond, "Okay, you Reynolds, go back wrap and it watch up. This show. Yeah." <laughs> Uh, and Jean said, uh, "By Christian, but yeah. oh yes, Pastor Stephanie Pastor said, 'I'm Stephanie. gonna miss.' She said, 'I'm gonna miss Donna saying, 'Hey, cricket letter, cricket yeah. letter, uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, letter, yeah, 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 yes. Uh-huh. We gotta go. We gotta do that one time. Yeah, um, uh-huh. mission accomplished by Jean. Uh, uh-huh. Let's see. Go uh-huh. out, go Tony, go out, go Tony." <laughs> He has a trumpet and he can't let go of an accent from Korean to um, African to hillbilly to thug. <laughs> oh man! Facebook, YouTube, Clubhouse, man, all of y'all. We thank y'all. We appreciate y'all, and uh, we're about to close it out because I, I, I got to go right into some other business for the day. But uh, listen, y'all, again. Uh, keep y'all stay connected we are not going anywhere we just coming at you different and uh, right. we appreciate y'all so to all of you who whether you join us live pre-recorded you watching this on replay whenever you consume this content whenever you will c- consume this content we thank you we appreciate you from for from donna from pastor tuck from jaleel from tristan from tony for all of you we love you we thank, thank you. you and until next time like i always say we're gonna see y'all when we see y'all peace peace Yo, to the 